Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Adventures of Avnia here oh, on shit. Arcane Arcade. We got the crew. We're all here to play more of this game because we actually got this set up and we're able to play online. So we're here. It's a little rough. We're it's a little ready. rough. Ready. We, it <laughs> yeah, took a lot a of setup, bit. and I was freaking out, but we got it. Okay, we're, we're ready to go, and uh, we're super excited to keep playing, um, and we are keeping our, our distances while, while playing as well, being able to be in the comfort of our own homes while we play this game because we've been dying to play it for a while. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's uh, super exciting. Uh, thanks, everybody, for showing up for today's game. And uh, before we get started, though, um, we got to hand it off to, to our sponsor, G Fuel. Now, <laughs> if you're in the market for some delicious caffeinated beverages like so, you might want give to a, give a chance to G Fuel. See, G Fuel has no sugar. Um, is I, I actually don't really know what it's made out of. Probably gamers. However, it is amazing. <laughs> Ground up, great. And it's gamers. delicious and it's really cheap. And you can get yourself 10% off if you use code FIREBALL at checkout. And if you use that code, I uh, get a little bit back and you help us out and uh, you get some delicious beverages. So um, beverages? check out our sponsor. I highly check recommend out G Fuel. Guava's uh, guava is the new flavor. It's pretty good. Um, I'm, pretty good. I'm still waiting on a couple of new flavors that I want to try out pretty soon, but I'm so excited. They have like a lot. They have a lot. Of they flavors. have. Uh, they have. I mean, you know, it's, it's on their thing. They have a Doom Eternal flavor. Yeah, it's called Spicy Demonade. It looks really, oh. really good. Hang on, just give me a moment. Ah, refreshing. And, Anyways, and, get yourself and now we have the wizard with us. Uh, do we? Nope. Oh, no, 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 never mind. No, 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 no. He, I have to snort it in order for that to happen. Ah, uh, yes, 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 of course. Obviously. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So. And when uh, when Jacob said, keep our distance uh, and be on our own homes, he means I'm down the hallway and uh, well, Jacob and yeah. Spencer are in the same room. We, we live together, so um, <laughs> we're just in the same room. Um, but we're able to have everybody here. We're excited to, to play some D&D. &D. Um, I will hand it off to Tyler. Let's yeah. do this. Uh, before before you do, do we have some patrons you want to read out? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me pull that up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ben, there we go. All right. Um, big shout out to. Let me make sure this is right. Wait, yep. Big shout out to Cal the God, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Josh Travis, Will Pratt, Arthur Souza, Angriest Bird God, and two. Biggest Blunder, Mario Sack, Adam Halleck, and Pimp in the Hood. Thank you guys so much for your continued patronage over on Arcane Arcade. You guys um, help us have money and continue streaming <laughs> to you guys. Thanks for you, all You all get stuff. the Smash Bros. clapping animation. We also have a surprise guest today. Yes, and I like how the I surprise guest... Her, I, I also like how the surprise guest also clapped even though they can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the surprise guest is invisible at this moment. Yes. Perhaps soon. Um, we got nineteen ninety nine from Cal the God. Oh, nation for the new shit. layout and happy to confirm that G Fuel is actually made of pure ground up gamers. Only the bad and toxic ones, though, don't worry. I still have like 60 characters left, so I'm going to fill it out with ramblings. How I think so <laughs> Thanks so much, Cal. Appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, Mimi H, two bucks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Perfect. I, that, is, that is good energy. Absolutely. Um, all right, so does anyone want to... Recap! It's been like a Recap! Month. I can re... I, hey, I, I can pull off a recap, I think. Do you think you can pull um, off a recap? So first we off, turned we in... Have, uh, first off, we have $20 Canadian from Howlock. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing the chat right now for some reason, so if you guys can handle that. Yep. Yeah, we can handle that just fine. Um, got laid off due to everything going on, but Oof. still want to show my support. I was excited to see the notification for another game in Avnia. Time to sit down with my cocktail and watch some shenanigans. We, I hope you enjoy our weird ass shenanigans. Yeah, um, it's rough. But, it's, uh, rough it's rough that you got, yeah. Uh, you're it, making it, unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> Plus six hey man, we we uh we we hope to hear that everything works out with all that mm -hmm. and really for everyone. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, recap, right? Recap. Uh, so. so we finished up our first quest, went to uh, Henry Eaton, got our money for that, and then got a second quest, which was to, um, if I recall correctly, figure out why people were disappearing in a forest. We found the 
uh, ghost-ish. What would you call it? Was that a ghost? No, it was no, no. A what was it? Like a si like a siren? Like a siren? Oh, this, he's talking about the second game. He's oh, it. oh yeah, the ghost siren the banshee si lady. Yeah, we found like a banshee lake. siren uh, lady in the lake. Found out that her husband had uh, had her killed, and um, that was the location where she was killed. We promised to. Uh, <laughs> We promised to figure out uh, who had uh, uh, who had done it and bring that person to justice. It was, it was um, yeah. Found out that it was the owner of the local tavern. Uh, shenanigans ensued involving Issa and uh, Kyrie breaking into a, the house while uh, Damon and Farron tried their best to get the guy to stick around. Uh, finding the proof... <laughs> That he had done that, taken that proof to the guards, getting him arrested, and getting some more pay from Lord Eaton, while also determining what we should do next. Sorry, my dog tried to um, get in. <laughs> hey, Cal, we got four ninety nine. Ready for the special guest to be Sans from Undertale, or maybe Obama? The options are infinite. Uh, Shit, they guessed it's it. It's Bernie Sanders. Sans, <laughs> I am once again asking for your financial support. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, God, if Pablo Escobar. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so? Hey, that was a good recap, Colton. Absolutely, good great recap. The last. Okay. I didn't even I look at my notes. Twelve times. Yeah. The, the, there's a reason I uh, didn't give any names out besides <laughs> Eaton and our names. I mean, true. Um, so where we left off, you guys had oh Mario Sack ten dollars. We gaming. We gaming. We gaming. We out here gaming. We gaming. We gaming. <laughs> Where you guys left off, you guys were in a group um, outside of the Adventurers Guild, um, preparing to. It was it was about um, one o'clock, and you were prepared to walk the eight hours towards the um, uh, whiskey distillery that you had right. uh, heard from Lord Ian oh, that there right. has been some some weird, weird things issues. happening, uh, weird noises in the middle of the night, and. Um, items of theirs get going missing some of their supplies um and so you guys were preparing to do that and you're about to walk off when um from behind you you hear the pit of pattering of little uh feet coming in and um kind of calling out just hey hey wait um and this is where we bring in our mystery guest our mystery guest do you want to explain who you are and what you look like? Uh, yeah, I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you if anyone can see no. me. They can. But good. Hi, everybody. It's Jack! Uh, it's Jack! It's Jack! We have Some a Jack! Of it, most of you didn't. Unfortunately, uh, Obama couldn't make it. He's really busy. But, um, <laughs> we asked him. It was fine. Yeah, Obama uh, actually anyway. recommended Jack. <laughs> Wow, really? He didn't tell me that. Um, yeah. anyway, uh, so, you guys, uh, there's a pitter patter of little feet, and you hear this like, uh, Excuse me, wait! Uh, and this, you turn around, and this this little, little creature, um, <laughs> being. this little uh, female child, or so it appears, until you kind of get a better look, uh, she's. Uh, she stands at about three foot four, which is about three feet less than my actual in real life height. <laughs> um, and uh, she's got a, she's dressed in like pretty simple clothes. She's got like this green poncho, um, just these like, like with like a white rolled up like collared shirt underneath with like brown pants. She's completely barefoot. She's got little hairy feet. Um, and she's got this nice like straw sun hat with some flowers on it. Um, she's got a big backpack on and she's, she looks very tired it's a as she hobbit. runs up towards you and, and she's, hi, hi, oh, I'm going to need a minute. Oh, goodness me. Um, is, sorry, uh, I, I hate to interrupt, but is this the town of Eatonborough? Um, yes. yes. Huh. Oh, thank, thank the goddess. Finally made it. Uh, oh, oh give me just a second. Uh, who are you? I'm a little tuckered out. Did you run here? No, no. I mean, I ran as soon as I saw the town in the distance. 
But uh, I, I walked here mostly, except for the nice fella a few days back who gave me a lift on the back of his cart. Uh, oh. I'm looking for the, the Eatonborough Adventures Guild. Is oh, that a, uh, is that around here? Oh, and, uh, what standing right in front of it. Oh, so I am. And she kind of looks up at the little thing and points at the signs, like, yeah. Whew. Well, <laughs> uh, I. I, I, I gotta admit, I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do from here. I just know that I'm supposed well, to. Well, um, okay. To be why, here. why don't you Why don't you sit down? All right. You You don't. You know, you're think, a little tuckered out. All right. I think that's a good idea, Mister. You know, uh, you actually, know what, Prometheus, I'm just, hey, come here in a in a, in a oh, metal. Oh, what on earth is that foul mechanical beast? Me. Uh, she like jumps back. And, <laughs> oh, that that's it? oh, it's Prometheus. Yeah, I built him. He's uh, he's my um he's my goat. He's that is not a goat. Sheep, actually. That is some kind of mechanical contraption. Yo, that... yes, I created him. Shaped like a goat. But why He's very he helpful. Just... He's very nice. You could, uh, I don't know, sit on the back of him if you like. Uh, why couldn't you just use like a normal goat if you wanted a goat for a pet? Because this not one obeys my every command. Oh, fancy that. Uh, well, and also okay. I can repair him. Oh. And also yeah, he can I guess do this. Did. And uh, his horns clink, go backwards, and two like y you know, um, like like welding tools like <laughs> come out of it, and then clink, go back inside. And like he also does. Oh that. my! <laughs> uh, well, that's that's mighty interesting. Hey, I must say. hey Jack, Can't real stand. quick, you're aware of all yeah. of our characters and their and what they look like and all that, right? Yes, I'm okay. familiar with the art. I'm gonna scoot over a little bit because okay. my. Uh, my oh. camera's flipped, I think, I on think my iPad. I think you're outside you, of, have, uh, you have uh, exited the shot. <laughs> <laughs> right there is perfect. <laughs> so uh, we also got right. Cal the God 499. Jack the boy. We Mario Sack $10. Jack is back. And Mario <laughs> Sack $2. Jeremy's Harry oh, theme. Enter the brawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. People were saying that the uh, the special guest was a Smash Pass 2. No copyrights. Three. Welcome back from your Grand Archmage of Gremlin Nation. Hope y'all liked uh, my new spells I've been making. I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to making more. People in the people in the Discord because they started making a spell every Friday for Avnia kept doing it every Friday in the Avnia Ooh. chat. Uh, yeah, when even we when we playing, were not on. So. Yeah. Very cool. There um, cool. so uh, Kyrie will take us a, a step forward, so you're looking to join us then. Uh, well, I, I just know that I was supposed to be here. I, I, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm supposed to do once I get here, but supposed, oh, I mean, you're supposed to be here. Supposed to be here. Who sent you? Uh, well, I, I, I it's personal reasons. I mm. just, you know, felt, felt the urge. Don't really much have another word for it. Hmm. Uh, but. Mostly. I you know, know exactly that. how that feels. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad you can. I'm glad you can empathize. I'm so sorry. In my in my uh, tuckered outedness and overall rudeness, I did not ask any of you for your names. Uh, oh. My name is Jeremy Fleetfella. Oh, it's good uh, to meet you. I'm at your service. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, my name My name is Damon, and this is Pythias. Hello, Damien. I'm your demon yeah. goat me mechanical thing. Oh, he's no, he's no, he's not, he's, oh, he's just made of metal. I'm they both grow on you. Okay, well, Mr. Damon, <laughs> Mr. Farron, nice mm -hmm, to meet mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can call me Issa. It's nice to meet you, my friend. All right, Issa. Mm, Kyrie. Mr. Kyrie, a pleasure. Yes, if you uh, want so, to join, you should speak to Henry. He's the guy that runs this place. Oh, okay. Inside. Uh, how, how can I find him? You better go inside and... <laughs> points at the door. <laughs> Kyrie points at the... At, oh. so, uh, I'll, I'll, show, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, come yeah. with me, oh, Jeremy. And I, you, I'll, I'll lead her, her in and yeah. go through the front door, find Eaton, and kind of uh, open that door as well. Right on the outskirts along the main um, roadway into the city, um, but really the only roadway into the city, um, is a... Most of the city is like like an old stone made of old stone buildings it's like very medieval looking and then at the end of uh, at the edge of the city is this like lodge this wooden lodge building <laughs> it's very out of place in the locale but that's what it is 
Oops. Uh, oh, oh. Dark. <laughs> Sepia tone. Oh, yes. <laughs> you went to the upside Darn. down there. I did me. go to the upside down. Sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> Hang on. I'm fixing it. <laughs> You're making it worse. There we go. There we go. I got Jacob's, it. Jacob's in a film noir now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. No, and as wrong. Damon leads you into the building, the inside matches the outside. Um, the, 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 there's like taxidermy. Sorry, uh, I had to let my dog in. Some like uh, weaponry, uh, like exotic weapons on the wall, and like taxidermy animals, and like. A, it's not like a rug. It's like a um, an actual like skin of some creature from a far off land. Um, it's a very like what you would think of as like a, a like an adventurer safari guild headquarters. Wow, um, stuff's real fancy. I've never seen any creatures like this before. Kind of oh, glad yes. I didn't either because they'd probably swallow me whole. <laughs> oh yes, it's uh, it's very uh, astute for what it is. Uh, Eatonborough is kind of a um, a desolate place at most. Mm. So, um, but anyways, uh, uh, Lord Eaton's uh, right over here, and I'll just go over to the door and just open yep. it. <laughs> yep, you just open it and uh, into the office, it's unlocked. And Damon is like like six four, six five, <laughs> and he he's really bulky too. Um, but he he walks very quietly, and as he kind of goes over, he kind of peeks in to like the door, and he kind of almost doesn't fit into the door frame. He kind of peeks. And he says, "Lord Eaton, uh, 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 yes, yes." Oh, we have a new adventurer. Oh. I kind oh. of peek my head in, like, underneath him. <laughs> oh. Uh, Which is real small. My hat is now, like, off my head, and it's on yeah. a little, like, string. Uh, and I've got, like, this curly, blonde, kind of frizzy hair mm -hmm, that's kind mm -hmm. of tied back in a messy braid <laughs> uh, with, like, the suntan face and lots of freckles and slightly crooked teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, just very simple-looking uh -huh. little young halfling uh, woman. She oh. doesn't know why she's here, just felt like the need to... Oh, 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 okay. Um, well, yeah, sure. It, it, you, you, if you guys are okay with her joining, then sure. It, it's all a group. It's While a... in the door still, holding it open, I look down at Jeremy and go, what do you do? <laughs> you know, uh, I was about to ask that same thing. You know, I'm a mean cook. I I, I got oh. some cooking tools here. In fact, uh, here, Mr. Damon, uh, this is a, a present for you. And I reach into my pocket and I grab a carrot and I hand it to Damon. <gasps> Um, That's all. Oh, that is very kind. Thank you so uh, much. I, I'm real good at uh at at uh you know uh finding things in nature. Uh, if, uh, I'm, I'm good at foraging and cooking and you know, I, what, I made a lot of really I made a lot of great, like that. We don't. I made a lot of great, Isa, uh, but I don't think Isa's very good at that. If uh, you know, I made a lot of great dishes on the road. You know, I made this I made this mushroom risotto the other day with some things that I found in the woods. It was it was excellent. Oh, I love mushroom um, risotto. Right here. Basically anything so, that the hero in that old legend Breath of the Wild could cook, I can cook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I have read that book before. All right, very all right. good read. All right. So you, you can I, cook. I didn't know it was a book. I, I, I just heard it at a mummer's play once, but uh Oh, uh, you but, saw yeah, a play? I, I read the um, book. I can cook. I'm pretty mean with this quarter staff. <laughs> I have a little. Oh wow! Basically. Okay, well, good. Uh, well, we get right. ourselves into a lot of trouble. I, and I'm still in the doorway, <laughs> by the way, just holding the door, and so, having this yeah, conversation. Just, like, staring around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. So you can handle yourself in a fight if it comes to it. Uh, I mean, if it comes down to it, I prefer to stay away from the action mostly. But uh, you know, I'll do what I can to help. Uh, I turn. In I am the pretty strong. I gotta admit. Uh, over towards I, I Harry. Farm. So sorry. And I just look over and I say, I will protect her with my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's real kind of you, Mr. Damon. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as long uh as it's yours. anyway, uh, Mr. Mr. Lord Eaton, uh, if if it ain't too much trouble, I would like to sign up. Uh, I just I just got a got a real hankering for some adventure, which is yeah, unlike yeah. me usually. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, we, I think we definitely can. I don't think we have another room for you here. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I can just sleep in like the corner or something. I, uh, I'm, I'm used to roughing I'll, it. While you guys are, I'll, I'll um, try and get that I mean, sorted I, for you. Then. I barely sleep. I only need the four hours, so she can always. Sleep oh well. Mm -hmm. Well, I can sure. Do it already. Thank you, well, Thank you Issa. Out. Yeah, and I've also noticed that you've been sleep, kind of spending most of your time out in the kind of general quarters, anyways. The living we'll areas watch. yeah um we'll figure that out but we, we have time especially since you guys have a thing that you a tri trip you're gonna go on correct yes 
Are you ready to go on your first adventure? Yeah, you ready to go on your first adventure now, Jeremy? Because we were getting ready to leave. Oh, well, I, I, think, I think technically it'd be my second adventure, maybe even my third, because it took me two weeks to get here on foot. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's very exciting, and I'm very ready to adventure with some new folks. Y'all seem pretty friendly. Well, we do uh, need a cook, so this could be very valuable to us. Where are you from? Excellent. Yeah, that'll be great. Uh, you know, uh, just if, if maybe I could just take a minute and just maybe rest up a little, maybe for like half an hour, just maybe grab a bite and rest my poor feet a little bit. Sure. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, more, more definitely. I got to I gotta eat all these carrots uh, eventually, and maybe you guys can help. Um, I, you know, I, I don't I'm want like them to, eating the carrot. You can I don't want them to spoil or anything. Um, but I've also got some cucumbers, if you like that. And she like, go, she like opens up her bag and she's like, I got some potatoes and and some celery and I think I have a single tomato left. Oh, but oh, it's a little squashed. And she pulls out this like, <laughs> tomato. You brought uh, a lot of food. Is that all oh, that's no, in I your bag? Kinda, I just kind of found it. Uh, well, some of it I grew. Some of it's left over from stuff that I grew myself. But uh, hmm. other other stuff. I well, that will be out. very helpful for us. I'm also good at just finding stuff out in the woods. So if we find any like roots or mushrooms or, or berries, I can maybe whip up like a little something, something, you know? I turn to Kyrie. Can we keep her forever? <laughs> Is that my decision to make? I don't know. You're kind of like the impromptu group leader here. We all kind of defer to you. Oh, are you the leader, Mr. Kyrie? Sure. I guess he should have asked your permission. He's the scariest. So um... I wouldn't say he's the leader. Yeah, uh, well, kid, whatever if... you say. If we well, were all going to make some difficult um, decision, I think that we would all not refer to him. Me, not Kyrie. Um, well, you're just a boy. I'm not just a boy. I'm a, a knight. You're a knight? You're I am. Like a knight a knight in one of those old tales? Yes. How exciting. I never thought I'd re meet a real live knight before. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you too, Jeremy. <laughs> She looks like starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna like you, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, I think I think you're gonna like me too, Mr. Farron. Uh, <laughs> okay, why don't we uh, we can rest a little bit while we're here and uh, give you a, a moment to uh, not be so tired anymore. And if you like, I would love that. I would love that to death. Um, and if you like, you could uh, you could write on the back of Pythias if you'd like. Who turns and looks at you and goes me. Ah, yeah, you know, maybe I'll just walk, uh, but that's real kind of you. I uh, can always carry you under your his arm like a sack of potatoes. Uh, or Damon, you know, being compared to potatoes is a very high honor indeed, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm good on my own two feet right now. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go uh, take a seat. Is there like a Maybe like a like a like a whale or something that I can draw from. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's Hold water. On. He says Isa was the shortest person in the party, and she and and they were only five ten. Oh no, <laughs> uh, Farron's five ten. Isa's like five eight, five seven. Oh, those two? sorry, oh, I'm actually like six one. I am definitely yeah, like the I'm tallest in the party ever. for whatever reason. Kyrie is um, the tall is taller than anyway. six, me. Six two. Sorry. Uh, didn't mean to interrupt the uh, immersive role playing that was going on. <laughs> no, no. no, you're good. Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, is there some like well or something that I can fill my water skin up and maybe uh, just take a load off for a bit? L Lord Eaton speaks up. There, there might be um, one in one of the courtyards in town, but we also have access to water here fairly easily. Oh, I'll just I'll just take the water that's here. That's fine. Uh, We're actually I, mean, um, I actually I, I, I actually had this place plumbed so. It's, oh wow, fancy. Yeah. Oh, What's that's plumbed? like in Apnea. Almost plumbed? everywhere there is plumbed. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. What's plumbed? Yeah. Like plums? I like plums. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no, it's a uh, 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 water in the house that's not from a well. It comes from what? the ground. That's a thing? It's uh, it's you know a, it, no, it, now it, that you say it, I did hear that they had some fancy schmancy stuff like that in Apnea. Of course, I, I, it's been a while since I've been there. Tyler, but, correct me um, if I'm wrong. Isn't there? Are there aqueducts? Or is it? Or how does it work? Some places do, but Avnia would be more pulling water straight from the ground, like, like a groundwater. It just comes from the ground. 
And they also have a that? river that they can um, pull from too, but... Uh, Honestly, just stay away from any ponds and you'll be fine. Peachy! <laughs> um, so Jeremy's just gonna find a low stool somewhere and just kind of <laughs> sit down and take out a piece of celery and just chew on it. I, I'm bit. sure the stools are like catered to different sizes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 I would the, hope. The, yeah, I, I also think that there's um, there's probably like a couch here too. Um, but it's like oh, um, there's a couch. Jeremy's just gonna like sprawl out. Oh no, like, yeah, yeah. The, 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 it, it's a couch, but it like it's like a nicely made couch, but it was like clearly like made to look like rustic looking, but it's not like super old. It probably is even like probably machine made, but just. So it's a little, that, it's a little like, it's a little craftsman, low key, like, yeah, a little bougie, yeah. but not like, are we talking like Grand Californian? Architecture exactly. Here? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I now have a very cool Think of this place as very much like, like. I, I, as like a small, it's more like an interior part of like the Grand California. He's Perfect. just like briefly um, disappointed that Jeremy took their spot, <laughs> and then they just they just settle for like an armchair, and they're like, "This is fine." By the way, we did get a couple of donations from Bob. Said hi. Can we get a bar? And right after that, you said you did. Uh, I know. Bar. I saw it. I did it for um, you. Cow the God, five dollars. Jeremy is Sam confirmed. Being compared to a potato is a high honor. <laughs> Boil a mushroom, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> Even you could turn down some nice crisp taters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for uh, our stream tomorrow where Jack and I reenact all of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, my, uh, my, backup, my backup character for Jeremy is just Gollum. So, uh... I would punch anyway. that little thing out just like, nope. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, yeah, Jeremy's just going to chill for a bit and cool. then we can hit the road. Is anyone um, else doing anything for this um, little short rest? Yeah, uh, Jeremy, where, where are you from? Uh, you, you probably never heard of it. It's not very important. <laughs> well, tell anyways. Uh, I'm oh, well, all right. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm from a little town called, uh, well, it's not really a town, I guess. It's more like a, a bunch of farms that are all just kind of in the same area. There is a small village, but I'm kind of out on the outskirts. Uh, it's a little, little town called Clarier. It's south of, uh, south of Avnia, about like an hour or two, maybe more. I, I don't quite hour remember. Hour or two, like... A day, a full day's walk. Oh, uh, I mean a full day's walk. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little, uh, a little, still a little tired, not thinking straight. Uh, but yeah, it's just a lot of farmers. You know, we don't get any fancy, you know, knights or or, or metal ram people uh, out and about. <laughs> uh, they they mostly stick to Avenia, but you know, we're uh, just decent, hardworking folk. Uh, All right. Where are you from, Mr. Farron? Avenia. Oh really? That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, may, then maybe you may have heard of Clarier. I, although most people in Avenia don't, they just kind of assume that the the, the, the crops that arrive in their fancy markets just kind of get there from the crop ferry or whatever. Or at least that's what everyone says back in Clarier. Right. Um, um, uh, do I know of uh, Clarier, Tyler? Um. I mean, oh man, we are getting some some peoples from uh, DM Lair who who yeah. probably sent some folks over. I don't know Apparently. if they're rating or not, or if they're if you just sent them over for some reason. But uh, hey, welcome! Yo, Hello what? Our D and D stream. Welcome. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just get a lot of uh, greetings from DM Lair, who uh, yeah. I was I was on his stream the other day, and I I, I dropped a dono, and I was like, "What's up, dude?" And so I think <laughs> DM Lair is sending favor, people so. over here. Yeah, what's up, guys? Awesome. <clears throat> uh, uh, DM Lair, folks. Yeah. Um, roll. I guess roll just general knowledge, I guess. Just history? general intelligence. Or mm -hmm. intelligence. All right. I don't know about, I don't think history because it's not much history. Is this, First is this roll of the night is a natural 20. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, we got a timeshare in Clarion. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that, that bodes well. Uh, yeah. Do you have the World Anvil map open? I do indeed. Uh, do you see the city of Avnia? Um, I'm gonna, yes. No. It's the two Follow the, in the middle. In the middle. Follow in the, the middle. Direct, like in the middle of the main area. No. 
It says Avian. <laughs> That is not the I'm middle. I'm from a little farm town south of Fresno. Yeah, that is definitely not the middle. <laughs> oh, right. Well, there. it's it's the middle of the big of the biggest. No, 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 it's right there. It's right there. Okay. Uh, if you follow the southern path, you can see Clarier right there. Uh, it's the first stop. Oh, look at that! It's even in the notes that Jeremy is from Clarier. Yeah, it's in the notes. <laughs> hey, how's uh, it spelled, guys? Just just spell it out for me since I'm not pulling it out. C L A R I E with an accent R E. Uh, miss an I in there, but close enough. Sure. Uh, th 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 Jeremy there's an... probably can't spell it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. th 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 there's an R before the I. And pretty much Actually, the most you know is, yeah, there's, um, you probably have never been there or have at least maybe passed through, but um, it's a very small, like, farming community, um, kind of a close-knit. Um, there isn't much there other than a few homesteads. Uh, I am so happy that you are from a place that is almost named Derriere. <laughs> um, um, you, you may, since you have the natural 20, you may have heard that there was a person from there that seemed to have like a gift of being able to work with um, nature. M maybe like a gift from the gods. Mm, from I there. wonder who that might be. <laughs> I have no idea. I would like to meet them, whoever they are. <laughs> but um, that's about all. Yeah. Also, with the whole Darier comment, my my number one rule for D and D is no no named thing in Dungeons and Dragons survives first contact with the players. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's always. My my uh, my my friend once DM'd a game for us where uh, two of the major NPCs in the town were Astrid and Baltair, and we called them Asturd and Ballhair. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunate. Uh, anyways, uh, what a fan. Yeah, um, so it's just a little farming community. I don't expect you to have heard of it. We're not uh, super. No, I, I think I've um I think I've been there before. We're not not in it, but like you know, passed by it. Um, oh really? Yeah. I think I think I think maybe a year back or so we did hear word of like a knight that was riding through. Maybe that was you. I may um yeah maybe, maybe it was maybe it was me. I um you know I don't I don't flaunt that uh, I uh, I'm a knight or anything. Uh, nothing like that. Nope. Yeah, you seem you seem pretty humble for a knight. I thought knights were supposed to be all like ostentatious and. And like I'm a knight, look at me with my fancy accent and my no, sword, you no, know. Like, um, uh, give it a few uh, minutes. No, no, I um. I mean, sometimes if I if I drink a little too much, I uh. Well, I, uh, among if you're in on first impressions, though, isn't very ostentatious, like you say. So, but uh, just call him a little boy a couple of times, hey, and hey. Uh, well, he'll, he'll get a little frustrated. He tries to prove himself. Yeah. Yeah. He's not he tries a to prove boy. himself he's a little like, bit. It's very adorable. He's like, a, he's like two feet taller than I am. I mean, most of you are. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe he's a big boy. However, I have seen Farron, um uh, bring down his knightly sword into a very large pile of garbage, living pile of garbage, and split it right down the middle. So, uh, uh, very intimidating. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's no dragon or anything, but that's still pretty impressive. I mean, sentient pile of garbage. It could be, it, uh, it was very, it ripped Pythias right in half. That's true. He's okay, though. Mr. Farron, can I interest you in a carrot? During this trying oh. time, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll I, uh, carrot for carrot. I love carrots. Thank you. They're good for your eyes, or so I hear. They also turn your nose orange. Maybe it'll grow bigger. Not true. That's an old wives' tale. No, it's true. <laughs> well, if you say so. Uh, I can how about it with you, science. Lisa and or Kyrie? Would may I interest you in some mostly fresh vegetables? Mostly. Sure. <laughs> Yes. I mean, they're maybe like a day old, or oh. maybe two, or seven, but or they're still good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> no, not quite. I, I, I bought I bought some of these in the village back, oh, but right. uh, uh, I got I got some some cucumbers and some carrots, and I had a tomato, but that's in the garbage now. Um, I love tomatoes. They're great. They're well, pretty it's good. In the garbage. Uh, no, I, I don't eat out of the garbage. Not after um that. Yeah, he's fight. a knight. Not knights don't eat out of garbage. Don't be silly. He's he not. kills garbage. I do kill garbage. I don't eat out of garbage. He smites it. He smites well, garbage. I the garbage deserved it first. It did. Uh, it, it, did. It, uh, it killed the 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 goat. The sheep. Me. Oh, well, yeah, that's some bad garbage then. 
But uh, I mean, here, uh, many things uh, Mr. Kyrie, you look like a celery man if I ever saw one. And I <laughs> <laughs> and Kyrie a little stock of celery. And uh, Issa, oh, uh, yes. Since you since you made the sack of potatoes comment, I'm gonna guess that you're a fan as well. Uh, so I'm gonna give you two potatoes. There you go. You're Special holding... for you today. Holy Thanks. some raw potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> And Jeremy kind of takes one and just takes a bite out of, uh, like, another one in her bag and just takes a bite out of it raw. <laughs> Chilling. A potato? Oh, my goodness. Raw potatoes are good. <laughs> the diehard city person, Issa, is just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I think I'm ready to go now. Uh, I think I've had enough jawing. Uh, you know, I've, uh, I've always heard uh, from my other orcish and um, uh, uh, family members that halflings are like onions. They have layers. <laughs> oh yeah, we should go. Who, I don't know who told you that, but uh, anyways, um, are, uh, I we're going to do wearing layers. It's pretty cold up here. I wasn't quite ready for how. Oh, cold it's it it's terribly, there. terribly <sighs> cold. Oh, oh yes. yeah, compared yeah, I hate to it. compared to where you're from, the the temperature has probably dropped thirty degrees over the course of the week, the the two weeks that you've been traveling. Yeah, so, I, I, I probably have, like, uh, I, I just realized that mm -hmm. it would probably be freaking freezing, so I might need oh, to yeah. add a couple I, of wintry things to Jeremy's ensemble. Yeah. Maybe she's got, like, some... Oh, she does have some gloves on, I should have pointed out. She has, like, these, like, gardening gloves, basically, that have, like, little flowers <laughs> on them. Uh, Perfect. Uh, and, uh, the the best way I've always them. described the area around Edinburgh is, um, think of the area around uh, uh, White Run in Skyrim. Yeah. That kind of yeah. tundra y Chili cold, tundra. But not yeah. like right, not yeah. completely frozen. Yeah, totally. Do 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 Guard so. might get nervous, man approaches with his weapon drawn. Um so God, God might get nervous, the hoffling approaches with her celery drawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh I'd be a lot more one celery a stock. with a belly full of mead. Uh, Alright, so uh must have been oh, hit the road. There's a there's there's a little job we got to do. We've been uh, accomplishing different things around mm -hmm. here in Edinburgh, but there's a, whis a whiskey distillery up. Uh, is it is it north south? Mm -hmm. uh, this is like uh, mm -hmm. he calls from his office. Uh, it, it, it's uh, north, um, kind of northwest, but mostly north. My memory serves me correct. Uh, uh, I didn't hear that. It, uh, it, you're like in the room right next over, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it just has like the door open. Yeah. Um, I can mark it on your map if you want. Yes, please. That would be good. Oh, that'd be great. Um, he, he kind of comes out and kind of um, pulls out like a little pen. Like, who has a map? I ah. open up the world anvil map. I now have a map. <laughs> you now have he a map. takes the map and he writes on it. And then on the top left of our corner, we, we see that uh, uh, Lord Eaton has added uh, whiskey <laughs> distillery to your map. And there's a distant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the. Uh, if you look at the map, you see the Dalgard distillery. Mm hmm. My dog really wants it. <laughs> if Jeremy's player, sorry, I don't remember his name, is actually playing a nature cleric, much respect, those guys are underpowered as hell, but the flavor is great. Vegas Blunder, his name is Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys, it's me, Ralph. Ralph. I Ralph, my uh, friend. Like, by the way, cool, I'm just seeing how it's cut off on, in the, yeah. Never mind. It's, there's it's, about it's a 15 second delay. I already oh, there's a, it. yeah. So. His name is Jack. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Jeremy yeah, so works uh, so it's there. It's mm -hmm. about like a day, day and a half. So maybe it'll be late by the time you guys get there, but you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Zia really, really wants to be in here. <laughs> Do it, poor baby dog. He just Do like it. let me in. Do it. You guys wouldn't even be able to see her. Um. So yeah, uh, I, I'll look to everybody and say, oh, are we ready to go? Well, we can go now. I'm ready to go. Apparently things are being stolen, some kind of mystery going on up there. So uh, maybe a little dangerous, may not be all sunshine and rainbows. My money's on another ghost because we've literally fought two of them. <laughs> you fought ghosts? Yes. Oh, we fought one ghost. The other one tried as a ghost. We, she was it was, she, we only fought one ghost. I mean, she, well, okay, fine. We rescued the other one from- We did. Oh my God, ghost count. We have fought a, a cannibal. Yes. And a ghost. Yes. Wow. 
And a living pile of garbage? Oh, and a living see. pile of garbage, actually, that too. Yeah, uh, Kyrie almost drowned. So um, yeah, I don't know what's so glamorous business. about this adventure in life when all you can fight is like garbage and ghosts. Well, that sounds dangerous. like a good name for a tabletop no. game. <laughs> garbage and ghosts and G&G. <laughs> <laughs> You'll uh it's Kiangi. <laughs> you Kiangi, <be>. yeah. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Is Damon Canadian? Um, I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> you know, you'd be no, he's sur- Avnian. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be surprised what uh, uh oh, what happens. What, what Someone asked for? me to pat you on the head. Oh, okay. when you're on the road. Aww, love that. I mean, before that, we fought what was even that thing a pile of sentient goo i'm gonna start walking i'm yes. gonna be talking to walking <laughs> yeah. let's go i'm ready i'm i got my walking stick out and i'm so, going on an adventure uh jeremy do you, do you just, <laughs> do you just hit people with a stick um do you go for the ankles or the knees uh i go for whatever seems to be the most opportune i mean i'm not the best fighter um right. but like I, I i like i couldn't do it with like a sword or something well i could but just not very well um but you know i could i, I can hit him with my stick pretty good i, I like to kind of hang out in the back though and just right. make sure everyone's all right um but don't worry i can pull my own weight if i get in any trouble you don't have to worry about me i won't be a bother okay well i could i could teach you how to swing a sword i'm still learning myself i'm not that oh i I gave up on the sword a long time ago mr farron but that's really kind of you to offer oh all right i didn't know knights were so nice did you know knights were so nice mr damon oh i've I've met a few of them they just seem to be very um, focused individuals Uh, farron is the most is the most adventurous knight i've ever met i'll let you know uh jeremy not all knights are nice Mm, that's too bad. Yeah. Well, you seem pretty nice, Mr. Fair, and that's all that really matters at the I, moment. So. I try. I try very hard to be nice to people. And then I, I lean down towards Jeremy, and I, and I whisper, and I go, you that's might want to be careful of... Careful. Yeah, I know. that You might want to be careful of the other two. Uh, they were once pirates. It's a <gasps> winks. You guys were once pirates? <laughs> Why are you excited by this? Ah, I don't understand. So exciting. Not I know all pirates are scary. Country. Adventure and and plunder and loot yes. and yo ho me hardies and all that. Not oh, a I'm pirate sorry, by should... choice, but yes. Were you press ganged, Mr. Kyrie? <laughs> no. Why do you? Oh, <laughs> like stars you know, I did your eyes. A... I did you? hear a song once. Are you press ganged? <laughs> I heard I heard in a song once that I that I heard a minstrel sing in a mummer show once that uh, there was some guy who was press ganged on the day of his wedding and then his wife went after him to try and find him and then when she found him like out in the islands or something he was with another woman and so she killed him mm. and became the captain of the ship. Well, I wonder if Kyrie. she's still alive. I'd like to meet her someday. I mean, can I ask a question, know. Tyler? Uh-huh. <laughs> Is this a true story? Or is this just a story? Could I roll to see if I've ever heard of this type of... Because I've been on the seas a lot. Like, privateering, pirating, sailing. I mean, sure, you Are you just referencing a song? I am literally referencing a song. I am referencing the song William Taylor. Oh, I know. From from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I know. William Taylor was a brisk young sailor. Um... (laughs) It very well could be based off some something real. It, it's probably likely embellished by bards, but as it usually is, as it usually is. But all right, I just wanted to make sure well, that it uh, didn't have to do with a very specific no, pirate that no, 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 Kyrie no, no, no. is very aware of. If you know who well, I mean, no, no, that's, that's <laughs> well, queen. don't you don't you worry, Issa and Kyrie. I won't tell no one that you're pirates, especially any customs agents or anything. Oh, my you have my word. Stint. It was not a uh, what, hundred years ago. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, that's a long time. Uh, well, maybe I was a little too overzealous with my reaction. I do apologize if I cause any embarrassment and or discomfort. No, you. I fine. think I'm just gonna stay quiet now. <laughs> She's just gonna. <laughs> no, honestly, make Kyrie more dis- uncomfortable. It's entertaining. 
Yes. Oh, I couldn't do that to me. Oh, it was real funny. So when we were going to go fight the ghost, uh, we used Kyrie as bait because the ghost was only killing about middle-aged men. And so uh, Kyrie fit the bill very well because he was a human and all of the victims were human. And we were like, he was, uh, he's just going to wait for the ghost to show up. And then as soon as she showed up, he ran right out into the middle of the, the lake. He could walk on water. He fell for it right immediately. Oh, it was very funny. And then he almost died. And that was not very funny. But we saved him and it's okay. Well, I... See what I'd happens surely, next time I'd you're chosen by a magic spell. Craig. Yeah. Oh, Craig. Craig 49 99 Whoa! Craig! You guys, my boy! You guys Dude! deserve, you guys deserve ice cream. So just let everybody know, Craig is the uh, is the he uh, he I don't he doesn't <laughs> own it. He he works at our, our, our local game shop here in 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 our town uh, called Game Core. And uh, oh, we played in some of his games. He's he's awesome, dude. Love him so much. Uh, and he checks out the stream sometimes. So uh, that's our boy right there. Uh, so thanks, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. We dude. love we love Craig and we, we love, love Craig. Woo! Jacob clapped so loud that it clipped out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can clap loud. You're just loud in general. Yeah. Poor, poor just a loud being. Stage boy. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, I, I'm pleased to, that you're all divulging such deep, dark secrets from me for only knowing me for like half an hour. Uh, Damon Corey, did I'm the work for me. I'm a very trustworthy me. person. Your, your, your secrets are safe with my short-term memory problems. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and oh, she boy. just kind of bops along, kind of hums a little song. <laughs> all right, uh, on a carrot. so are you guys making your way oh we've been something? making yeah. our way okay. yep. cool because so i want to make sure so yeah it takes a little while to get up there um it's a little far it's like a whole it's a whole, like a whole day's travel so um probably about 25 miles from eatonborough um, it gets colder and colder the more north you get um and tree and there are trees that start coming up like evergreens um and it's it actually gets fairly um, almost forested. It's like a woods, but not like completely thick. Um, the the paths that you're going along are less of a road and more of a um, just like a dirt pathway that people can use once in a while, not very often. Um, oh, that's when we know we're on the right path is we're heading up the dirt pathway. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, and then in the distance, you see a number of buildings um, uh, with like smokestacks coming out, and the sun has already started coming gone down. Um, it's it's already kind of pitch not pitch black, but definitely nighttime at this point. Um, uh, the, the the two moons are out. The ring is visible, um, and you have these. Um, buildings are start popping up in the distance um and there's lights on there's clearly people there right now and yeah you make your way and there's, there's, there seems to be a number of buildings with like a couple that look to be like storage buildings and then a, like a large major one with like a with a couple of like funky shaped towers that kind of have this like interesting like bend to them um to the roofs um and on next to the front door it, it says dalgard distillery well here it is well, i heard they make honeyed honeyed whiskey here yes just to just to absolutely re delightful yes it does just it is recap. delightful just to recap from what i understand there were strange noises going on so i wouldn't be surprised if it was ghost again and things are being <sighs> things are being stolen though right yeah things are disappearing do ghosts steal stuff? No. Well, maybe. If they really want it. I mean, the one was stealing lives. That's the way you could put it. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah, trouble arguing I thought with I was the bard, Kyrie. <laughs> How poetic. <laughs> so do you think we should introduce ourselves right away, or should we look for a uh, place to spend the night at first? before we start uh, looking around. Well, there should be people there, right? I'm sure they would approve of us anyways. We did take up the quest. Exactly. I think okay, okay, greetings are in order. Am I quiet? No, I, I can't. Megan turned on the music. Spencer turned on the music, so I can't hear anything. 
Oh, the music oh, just isn't back. going right now. Oh, now it is. I have it going. There we go. Sorry. All right, sorry. Um, uh, oh, yeah, let's just walk in and That's ask them uh, what they need. Okay, let's go. Jeremy, this All is right. literally what we do most of the time. We, we stand around and decide things before we actually take action. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great it's idea. Wise. That shows that you guys have good a good sense of, uh, you know, party cohesion and, and foreplanning. That's really good. Yes, and then it all goes wrong every yes. time. Well, I hear that that's what happens to adventuring. Uh, yes, you still decided to come out and do it. I don't really have much of a choice in the matter. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, you know, once you get that, once you get that urge, you know, it's kind of hard to just shut off, you know? Mm. Not really, no. I'm not exactly oh, okay. doing this by Maybe choice. Maybe it's just me. Um, Somebody should go to the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go up. Okay, and you go up and knock on the door? Yeah. Um, it takes a couple, it takes a little bit, but you hear a couple of, like, movement on the inside, and then it open up, opens up, and you see a human. Um, male, has a, a nice big kind of bushy beard. Um, it has, like, sleeves rolled up, um, and kind of like a, almost like a, what, what, what's that called? Like a, le a, a leather, like, um... Apron? Apron, yes, thank you. Um, uh, uh, um, hello? Who are you? Kyrie, we're with the Adventurers Guild in Eatonborough. Oh, uh, Lord Henry Eaton's people, huh? Yes. yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're here about the whole thing Maybe. I mentioned to him. <laughs> things being taken, things being moved, strange noises. Yeah, possible. yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Don't think it's that, but sure. Oh. Um... I mean, it could what, be. Um, what exactly is 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 uh, is going on? Uh, all I know is that some of the people that make their rounds at night just to make sure everything is kind of still going, um, uh, they hear from um, our storage rooms movement, creaking. Nothing they can really pinpoint very often. Plus, they don't want to. They they think it's a ghost. I don't think it's a ghost. Um, Sounds like it could just be rats. That's what I think, but it, they, they say it sounds like whatever it is, its footsteps are bigger than a rat, so... Are you saying they hear footsteps at night? They hear footsteps, they hear creaking of boards, they hear shuffling and things moving and like dra being dragged along the floor. Um, and then when we check in the morning, we're always like missing... Um, after we hear this, like a one of our bags of honeyed uh, oats is gone. No, oh, rats so are... wait, uh, let me get this straight. Do you have people who are there at, during the nighttime, or is uh, it locked up? It's mostly locked up, but people make the rounds once in a while on a rotating basis. Just so then sure when I... they make the rounds, they hear sound. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, uh, that is quite the mystery. Mm -hmm. Would you at least mind letting us in? You know, it oh, is yeah, yeah, quite yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course, of course, of course. We have some residents here, but they've all kind of been taken. I, I know it's late, but um, I don't have very many places for you. Most of the building is dedicated to the distillery process. It's fine. Sure. We'll figure something out. Um, actually, uh, you guys could spend the night in the um, storage room. Where all of the stuff is going on? Where, where all the stuff is going on. Maybe you, if you want to like keep an eye out there. Um, if you guys had beds or something. Plus, it's, it's nice and warm in there, too, because of we had to keep it insulated to make sure uh, things the, the, the process doesn't mess up. Yeah. The, it's our uh, job anyways. Process. Yes, yes. So if you guys want to stay there, but you can have a look around the facility. I could probably, pay, if you are able to figure out what's going on, I could probably give you like a some, um, some fresh brewed um, whiskey at some point. That could be fantastic. I am extremely interested. It's really good. It, it, it's a local staple. People, people all around uh, the continent uh, have it imported. Yes. Damon has already stepped in, and he's just analyzing the entire front room, like looking around. And as yeah. he's kind of talking about that, he kind of comes in and he says, "Can you show us all the entrances and exits?" Yeah, sure. More um, specifically, likely only of the storage room. 
Yeah, the, well, yeah, because we have the main distillery building, but then we have the, the storage building, which is uh, just across the way. I could show you over there if you want. Mm. Um, unless you want me to show you around the distillery, because if you think that's all connected, but we haven't had any things going on there as far as we know. I would like to. I mean, it, it'd be best to know all of our options, just to know what's going on. Yeah. So is the, uh, is the is the distillery a different building than this one? Uh, no, the, the, this is the, the the main distillery building, but we have a storage room and then a residence building. Where uh, are things being stolen from the storage room? The storage room, which is the storage room, is its own mm. separate building. And it's only the honey oats that are being stolen. Uh, like yes, the, 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 the honey barley and the honey oats. Do you have an, a list of your inventory at all? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we have a ledger. We 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 we, we, we keep track as much as we can. And how many people work here? Oh, um, uh, me and my wife, my two sons, a couple, uh, my daughter, um, her husband, and uh, a couple of hired hands. So probably all family and some hired. Yes, okay. it's mostly family. We're kind of a family run business. <clears throat> Is there anything else you need to know? Do you want to look at the ledger or? What's the information you can provide? Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah sorry, Just sorry, need sorry. to lay you the land. Um, um, I may want to look outside perhaps to see any, uh, around. Um, you know, uh, hmm. Who Does anybody here know about, uh, maybe we can look around for tracks and whatnot around the, the area, see if anybody knows anything. I can uh, do that. Yeah, 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 definitely. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Okay. Um, so he kind of shows you around the main distillery parts. So first, he go, uh, he shows you around the main distillery building. Um, the area where you entered was kind of like a, a kind of like a reception area. Um, that it's kind of where if people were to visit the property, that's where they would go first. Um, after that, it, there's a large kind of distillery area that has massive, t like, bra uh, brass tanks after tank after tank after tank to, um, uh, of this, uh, in the, 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 distiller, the distilling process and liquids and pipes are going all over the place and going through. Um, from the reception area, there's one, um, entrance and then in the main distillery building at uh, the main distillery floor um there are um there is two doors and then a larger like um uh like not a garage door but like a one a, a bigger one that they could probably fit like a a wagon into if, when they were loading up like cakes um in the uh, main distillery floor, there is a, um, a staircase going up to a second floor that both acts as access to some of the upper parts of the distillery process, but also connects to um, offices upstairs, which uh, he goes in, he shows, um, he brings out the ledger and shows um, Issa the ledger, and uh, it has information about uh, like what's being sold, what's being bought, um, Mainly, it's uh, honey, bar and uh, like barley is being bought, um, and uh, water seems to be pumped on the profit uh, on the property, so that they have a well outside. Hmm. Um, uh, and what's being sold is these kegs of um, uh, ke uh, these, these ke kegs of honeyed um, whiskey. Uh, and then um, are they? Oh wait, what's uh, that's where they keep the honeyed whiskey, or is that what's being stolen? Uh, what? So right now you're looking at the ledger of like the things that are being bought and sold. Um, mm, some okay. of the things that are being bought are just like basic things that seem to be like utility things, like pipes and things that might be that they might replace once in a while. Um, but also like they also keep like another family ledger that has like basic foods and provisions for them to kind of okay. like, keep the place. More, it's more or less kind of an independent thing. They don't have to, they, they, they seem to like stock up on all the stuff they need for like a week and then they'll come back and like, that's when they also seem to sell their um, kegs. They basically go to market every week, so to yes. speak. Yes, yeah. Got it. Instead of making the trip multiple times a week. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. I just kind of approach the 
uh, 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 yes. Uh, I'm yes, sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. You? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm George. Um, George? Yes. Uh, Mr. George, is there any reason why someone would want to be stealing stuff from you? I mean, aside from just, I mean, barley uh, and oats is kind of an odd thing to steal. I, I, it very much is. I don't know. I, it, it's very weird. Um, if anything, they should be stealing the whiskey yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah cause that's the thing that I actually yeah. like. Uh, it's likely not right. a person. It's likely an animal of some sort. That's that's my thought. It would be yes. food for them. Well, but if it was an animal that was sticking, it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't it be a little more evident? Like, there'd be kind of a mess. Things wouldn't be missing. Things would just be, like, torn open and gone. If things are actually going missing, then it's probably a person or something intelligent at the very least that can, you know, use opposable thumbs and pick That's up the, stuff and carry can it I, all. Can I see the place where things have been stolen? Yes, and he kind of leads you out. Um, and as I said, there's like three buildings. One seems to be like a, a, a like a residence house. Um, and then you have to make the massive distillery building. And then you have a smaller, not shed, but it's... It, it, it's um, its own separate building specifically for storing stuff. And he leads you inside and it lo it's like a warehouse. It, it, it's a warehouse and there are a few kegs that seem to be ready for, uh, have already been um, distilled and ready for market. And then there is um, some, th there are some things of um, honey, a couple things of regular barley. Um, and then there are um, a num like a stacked amount of um, specialty uh, uh, like pouches that um, so like the barley that hasn't been used yet uh, is marked like a, 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 the farm's name on it. Um, th this one is, th th these bags are marked as the distillery's bags. And he, and he kind of tells you that th this is um, what he calls the honey oats. It's the start of the fer fermentation process. Um, they mix together the barley um, and the honey together and let that ferment first in these bags for a few days before bringing it into the actual distillery process. And these are the bags that have been going missing. Is there Ooh. any signs of a mess or anything to the? I was gonna try to make an investigation check around the room. Yeah, yeah. look for maybe, maybe, um, maybe a, a trail. Anything that seems a trail out of place. like a mess. Like Jeremy <laughs> spawns the yeah. idea in Damon that like maybe there's a mess. Maybe there's like claw marks. Yeah. Any kind of like anything that seems out of place. Yeah, um, I would, I'd, I'd participate in said it, check too. If, if, you're, if you're looking for a mess, roll me investigation. All right. I will help Wait, you. Wait, uh, Mr. Kyrie, Mr. Kyrie, before you start looking around, uh, yes. why don't you give me a high five real quick? <laughs> Hold up my hand expectantly. Do it, Kyrie. Just do it. Just do it. It's fine. I want to see what happens. Uh, I, I cast guidance on you. Ooh. <laughs> um, just to let you know, Tyler, I got a 14 plus 4, which is 18. Oh. And Kyrie? Ooh. Uh, four plus my one plus 19, so 24. <laughs> I thought you were saying you were okay. a four. I know, I thought you were a four. I was 19. I <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's no, my mod two? is one. And then I rolled a four on the guidance. Nice. nice. Um, okay, so with the investigation check, um, there isn't much of a mess. You you notice that there does seem to be um, some like disturbed uh, like dirt dust coming from the um, the bags as if something had been like dragged across the ground. Okay. Um, and you also notice um, not quite claw marks, but there does seem to be something that like scraped the ground slightly. They're, they're very small, and they don't seem to have, like, um, they didn't intentionally, it didn't seem like whatever it was, it wasn't intentionally trying to dig into the ground. Mm. It, it, it just kind of scraped along the ground. Your it's people, very similar to claw marks, but not quite. I'll kind of turn and, to and, the... And it seems to lead towards a door. Right, I'll kind of turn to the guy. Does your people uh, drag things on the ground often, or do they tend to carry it? Like an no, actual they sack? They tend to carry it. All right, yeah. Something's dragging know. your stuff Damon out Damon has, like, Damon has, like, those, like, like uh, monocle glasses, uh, mm -hmm. and there's, like, one, and then a smaller one, and then a smaller one, and he's currently like got his Like the dude from tool. Toy Story 2. Yeah, exactly, and he's, like, measuring <laughs> the tiny little scrape on the ground. He's, like, those look to be, like, it's from a box or anything. Yeah, something's, something's dragging your stuff out. Hmm. Something, so the, 
likely okay. with claws. And there's no other way to get into here besides the main door. No secret passages. Uh, no secret Hold passages, up. but there's a back door and a front door. Yes. And there's and, 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 nothing else. And, the, and it seems like the the drag marks uh, went to the back door. Hmm. Just for the people who love the investigation. Well, we might as well just uh, camp up in here and uh, wait for the that uh, thief to come by again. Yeah. Gonna have to be a little stealthier than that, though. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I've got something prepared. And uh, Damon stands up, and he pulls out small little um, uh, 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 tethering bolts. Um, and they're they're a little they're like, just like little tiny like metal spear things. Um, and he he kind of loads them up into like a little disc. And he takes I think I can ritual cast this actually I can so he doesn't do this. Um, he takes a moment to kind of ch- uh, charge them up in, in his in his uh, this little like disc thing, and then he pulls them out um, and uh, goes around the room and starts to set up the tethers. He puts one on the wall and then one by a door. Oh, I can only do it to one door. So um, I think I think I can. So uh, I have to door window or area that is no larger than a twenty foot cube. How many doors are in here? Two. Two. Uh, it's not concentration, so could I have two up at the same time? If it's not concentration, yeah. Cool. I will spend, uh, 20 minutes setting up two of them on both doors, and as soon as the tethers go over, they kind of and light up, and I have a bunch of earpieces, and I go mm-hmm. over towards everybody, and I, and I give them all the earpiece, and I say, that'll go off and make a sound if anybody goes through there. Um, mm. and I, and I set up the other one and give it to us, and it's, it's Artificer's ar- Alarm. <clears throat> and I'm ritual casting it, so I'm not using cool. any spell slots. That's great. Perfect. Wow, Mr. Damon, you did that pretty handily. You and your oh, yeah. these are pretty fancy. I he likes... did these. I don't like being snuck up on. <laughs> he likes his inventions. What I'm thinking I, I of, though... I can see that. It's, it's been a long, long day. Would it be best just to set up a watch? And they takes first, and then everybody else sleeps? I think everybody should sleep around your schedule, Issa. And... Uh, you should uh, you should sleep your your two hours and then um, everybody and then somebody else uh, uh, takes a sleep during then. Be the easiest, unless Kyrie wants to get captured again. <laughs> well, uh, I don't have the best <laughs> eyesight and in uh, in, in perceptiveness, so uh, maybe um, uh, somebody else should take a watch while Issa sleeps. I'll watch. I I can do it too. Kyrie, why don't we let Jeremy do it? It's not that I, you know, don't believe in you. It's more of giving her a chance to mm-hmm. show herself off. Every every dog can okay day. with that. She can. Uh, she can. Uh, uh... There's five of us. Two of us can keep watch at the same time. One of us on each door. I mean, it's a small room, but all right. Or just stay just in the middle. Two of the hours. <laughs> And uh, and Damon just kind of gets set up um, in, in here as well, and he, he brings Pythias in too, and and um, sorry, just kind of okay. prepares for prepares for rest. It's all good, man. No okay. rest. So so you guys are gonna start a long rest then? Not really a long rest per se, just short resting a lot until <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so oh, I'm is gonna... it night? Wait, is it night? It's yeah. it's like eleven o'clock at night. Oh shit! Then yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, we traveled eight hours. Yeah, you guys traveled a, a full. It, it was like nine or ten hours of travel, so um, it's, it's about eleven o'clock at night. Yep, but I also um, noted your usage of the word "start a long rest." <laughs> well, no, <laughs> we'll see. Um, Which is why I'm suggesting. <laughs> so, 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 who is long resting right now? He said for their four hours. Damon. Okay, Jeremy. I'm on watch. I'm on watch. Uh, you're on watch. Start, I'm on watch until uh, Issa wakes up. Okay. And I, so I'm, I'm al- sleeping. I'm also so... going to hang out on watch. Cool. Um, Last time one person was on watch, they insta died. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Issa made that joke? <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, got, you guys all start going, and some of you start getting some sleep. Um, uh, Isa is uh, doing your whole meditation yeah. business. Um, you know, weird elfy stuff. And I actually... Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. I might do something a bit weird. I want everyone except for Grace to do something 
drop your headphones, leave the room. I don't know. What? I'm gonna go. Okay. To food. Uh, sure. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I know uh, exactly. Okay. Oh, oh lord. <laughs> well, okay. Oh. Uh, cool. Hi, Grace. Uh, Tyler. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Tyler. You're meditating, and with elves, they. Tyler. Yes. How are you going to tell us to get back on? I will message uh, the chat. Right. I'll message the Facebook chat, so just pay attention to that. Okay. Um, elves have, um, when they're doing their meditation, they still have, like, dreams. Um, and you're doing your meditation, and you seem to, like, it doesn't feel, like, very long, but then you open your eyes. And you're in your... You're in the um, the storage room. It, it seems normal for the most part, except none of your companions are there. You're they're all gone. And sitting directly in front of you, probably cross-legged, about a mm, few feet. Um, I like how they completely broke. The over the the, the the stream when they left, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but um, sitting across from you is what looks to be a young girl, um, black hair, um, wearing kind of a white dress. You've only seen this person once before. They're kind of gonna have an air of nonchalance and just kind of relax, but they're not mm -hmm. wary, but just. Not on guard, but, you know, mm -hmm. Empress. Good to see you. Yeah, yes, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm shocked to see you again. I never thought I would be blessed with such a, a, a vision. Mm -hmm. Well, I just wanted to ask you about what's been going on. Why? What's going on? Did you get? Did you get the gift? My gift? Are you talking about? What, sorry, what's it called? The uh, frick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Wherever that thing is called. Uh. <laughs> What was that? Uh, wow. You know, the, the diamond thing. I, I forgot the word for it. The stone? Yeah. Because you don't know like the full name for it, of it yet. Yeah, were we calling it something? Am I, am I just missing it in my notes? Maybe. Uh, sorry, the divine shards. There we go. Yeah, that. There we go. You, you know that they, they, they haven't called that. I just needed to figure out what it was. Mm -hmm. Art, that was the divine shard yours. Was that all you're doing? That's not all my doing, but it was connected to me, yes. Then yes, I assumed nothing of it yet. I've only had, what, one vision from it? Mm-hmm. It was kind of- You'll probably have more, especially uh, if you use it. Oh, things to use. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I'm doing. I'm traveling with this group. Yeah. Learning Stay with things. Them. Stay with I... them. It's of important. Of course. You guys are a key. All of you. You have to find the lock. And unlock what's been hidden. Of course. I mean, I'll make sure to keep them alive as much as I can. They're an interesting sort, mm -hmm. different than the wild. Definitely. So is every part of this world, each separate from each other, but all working together. Yes. 
Is it, will you be doing this often? Visiting my my dreams? No, no, not not often. Yeah. Just to make yeah. sure you're on the right path. Yes, I serve you as I have served you, and I will always serve you. So I appreciate any guidance you can give me. You don't serve me, not directly. You desert. You serve us for yourself. We serve you. Well, that's enough for now. You might want to make sure to have that item that, as you call, a divine shard in your possession. What's my empress? And your eyes open. And as if they had been closed the entire time. And you're back in the um, storeroom. She's gone. And your companions are there. <laughs> that was odd. Has, has much time passed? Uh, it's been your full rest that you needed. Got it. Well, they're gonna stretch and kind of stand up and wait for everybody else to get back to the group. Um, just so you know, uh, Jack, you are still blacked out. So if, if you talk, they can't see you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I better wolf down these taquitos before anyone has any proof that I ate something. <laughs> Ah, uh, the taquitos? Mm-hmm. Although I do also have some ice cream in front of me, so. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. um, I, I right. can't think of orange. Taquitos and ice cream. Delicious. Are you well, dipping the taquitos into the ice cream? No, but that's an interesting thought. Um, no, <laughs> All right, I, so, I, what I do, so what do we see in, Tyler? Doesn't seem like anything. It, it, it seemed like a very quiet couple hours while nothing's you guys were on. Nothing's happened. Uh, Jeremy hasn't started a conversation. <laughs> huh? You just said Jeremy oh. hasn't started a conversation. Well, well, Jeremy, Jeremy probably would have, would have at some point. Um, probably just talked your ear off about mushrooms or something. Do you list off all the mushrooms that she knows of? <laughs> I heard that there's a, there's a kind of mushroom out there that can... Uh, that can like infect like dead ants and stuff, and right it can make them come back to life. It's mm. crazy. You know, I, I hate that. <laughs> oh, hi, Issa. You're awake. Or is that Grace talking? Uh, it was both. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the uh. only thing that should ever be in control of yourself is well, yourself. Yes. Last time we, we fought ooze that took over people. And then we fought a ghost that took over people. Yes. Well. Hey, they said, uh, they said, they they put Spencer is dead and a bunch of crabs. Oh. Crab. No. He was making my soup. Or heating my soup. All right. Oh, well, thanks for, for staying up with me, Mr. Kyrie. It's mighty nice of you. Uh, yeah. I would have been awful lonely by myself, but I think I'm, I think I'm getting pretty tired. So I think I'm going to rest my eyes for a bit. If anything creepy comes along, just give me a jostle, won't you, Issa? Of course. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. Anyway, good night. Sleep well. Hmm. Think you'll be fine by yourself? better than you have. <laughs> you don't have an assassin going for your throat. We'll see. What? And I'll kind of lean up against the wall. Uh, yeah. Itza got a long rest, right? <laughs> yeah, Itza got a long rest. Oh, you got Ooh. two hours. Four. Um, right, well, isn't it like two more hours for uh, of like light activity that has to pass? Yeah, yeah it's not full. <laughs> Um, 
a couple of more hours go by, and probably about a, about three a.m. Um, the alarm goes off. Ooh. I wake up. Yeah, it wakes there, us all up, right? Yeah, it like would we probably all wake you all up. There's literally uh, in your ears. You guys hear the um, the the default iPhone alarm. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You guys have that. And I just wake up and I'm like, uh, uh, Damon, you couldn't have just used one of the bedtime alarms. Those are wait, so much nicer. They won't wake me up. <clears throat> what's what's going on? What's, I check the alarms. I, I check feel, the doors. I feel personally attacked right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I no longer stand Jacob. He hurt my feelings. 499 Caligod. I no longer stand Jacob. I put, I, everybody was putting Spencer is gone and, 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 uh, and Spencer is dead and spoon is, uh, soup is heated with the crabs and I put Atlantica is gone. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also have $2 from Erwin's? E-R-1-S, $2. Yeah. Pythius is best robo sheep boy. That plays the Sonic Drowning theme. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. No. We'll go around check the alarms. Check the. Um. The front door seems to be fairly okay. Um. But the back door seems to have been creaked open, a little bit. Uh huh. Uh, just want to let you know. Just want to let mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. The alarm is is not. The, the reason I flavored his earpiece is because yes. normally it's in your mind. Yes. No other creature can hear the alarm. It's just us. Yes. How We're loud were you guys waking up? I went, oh, something's at the door. And then Jeremy yelled about how loud it was. And then I, I ran to the back door. So whoever okay. was there probably heard us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was, that was just Jack making you, so, a joke. So, so, but... so you run to the, um, oh. to the back door like right away? Yeah. Uh, and Damon, Damon would have immediately stood yeah. up and ran for the door. So would Kyrie. Cool. Um, you, you would have heard something like trying to like start scampering out uh, away from the door. Damon runs. He's there. He's there. <laughs> you hey, up, oh, wait. hey, wait for me. My my walking speed's only twenty five feet. Hydeus <laughs> is now also <laughs> going hey, after Tyler. Damon. Mm -hmm. uh, I have survivalist, um, mm -hmm. kind of kind of dashing out there. I'm gonna immediately cert, like look for a source of tracks if I can. And uh, using Survivalist, um, if it is a survival check for me to note tracks, uh, my proficiency bonus is doubled. Then yes, it would be. But you also see um, the half-orc and the robot um, chasing after some small, dis uh, s some little thing as it's scampering away. So we can actually see the creature? Y yeah. Okay. I Not mean... clearly because it's dark, but especially since you're a human, you don't have dark. <laughs> you can tell us something there. Mm -hmm. Um Jacob, to you. All right, I'll just chase it then. Yeah. Probably. It looks like you're running after a a bear cub. That makes sense. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dearie. Well, from the back, at least. So. Um, it's a it's a. No it's, it's running away. Um. Damon's not stupid. Um, Damon uh, sees the bear cub and he's running after it and then as soon as he notices what it is he immediately stops he stops Pythias and he turns around and he says no 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 don't 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 just want to let you know uh, the, the reason I'm doing this Damon actually has proficiency in animal handling so yeah. I figure you know a, t a thing or two and you go <laughs> hey, uh, hey guys this isn't some kind of monster or ghost or anything that's a bear cub over there Oh, and where there's bear cubs, there's bear bear moms and bear dads, uh, yes. and we don't want to mess with that. Oh, we might have to mess with that. It's our job. Oh, yeah, well, it's not our job to go deal with a bunch of bears, Kyrie. It's our, our job, job to deal to... with the problem in the uh, in exactly. The they need a they need a little bit better uh, protection here. They need to maybe lock their doors or um, find a way that they uh, can't get inside anymore. Um, they seem to be able hired. to open the door. Like the, the cub, like. Scampers off a little bit and then jumps doors? into a bush. And jumps into a bush. All right. So bears can open doors normally. Is that like an actual concern in, in the wild? Is why yeah, I never... apparently was able to open it somehow. Maybe it learned. I'm gonna, bears are very smart. I'm going to turn around and walk over to the door. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to close it. And I'm just going to try to push it open. Um, it doesn't seem... So 
it seems like it's like a, like a push down handle thing. Um, so it doesn't like directly hit, but you can maybe make the inference pretty easily that maybe it, like figured out like, how to open figured the out door. How to pull it down and push it. <laughs> yeah. and it's like pu- it's a push inwards too. So all I had to do is push down and in. That's just that's so wholesome. Literally, just go up and go, <laughs> and it just they like almost like uh-huh. fall down as they're exactly, opening. exactly, exactly. Anybody right. thinking of uh, Brave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's just a couple of beers. I mean, what are you gonna do? They just need to put a lock on these doors. Hmm. It's an owl bear, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? I, that, that, that sound comes from the book. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, oh, I have I've only heard of those creatures before, and I am very afraid that is a deadly monster, an much different than a bear. Owl bear uh, does not sound natural. It's oh, but we go something. if they're just hungry and leave them out there. They don't. They they they'll mind their own business. What if it's a hungry one and it's, you know, eventually wants the people inside? Elbears are known to do that on occasion. And it's our I job was... to deal with the issues around this place? But you can't just kill the bear. It doesn't know better. He's got a point. And it I'm has with Mr. Diamond on this one. Can't just kill the poor See creature. The, um... A little owl bear head kind of pop out from the bush. From the bush. Oh I, Damon turns to you are adorable, but you need to get out of here. If he, if your mommy sees us with it with you right now, we are going to be dead. So uh, Damon is going to kind of step forward and uh, he's going to kind of brood himself up a little bit and he's going to try to just intimidate this thing. Just <laughs> he's kind of going to like scare it off. Full intimidation. Oh God. Look, can I roll animal handling? <laughs> Wow. Are you trying to scare it or are you trying to befriend it? I'm trying to handle it. <laughs> I still say intimidation. Really? <sighs> Sorry. No, well, I mean, okay. Ty- Tyler's Sorry. right. Like, animal, hand- animal handling specifies calming animals or uh, being able to, like, incite them, essentially. So. All right. Yeah. All right. It's, All right. it's like, you, you try to look all menacing. And it's like, and it, it kind of just comes out of the bush and kind of walks towards you guys. No, 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 no! Get out of here! Yeah, get we get out of this baby with us. It's very, very bad. Oh, what is Kyrie doing? I'm, I'm not actually doing that. I do I have a hand. To, I, I do have. To... I do have my hands on my da- on my daggers. Though. Well, wait, wait, wait. It, it kind of like turns its head. Are you guys? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, Jeremy. Moment. Jeremy, do you have got any food? You throw it into the forest. Uh, it, it then starts walking past I pull you guys out, I pull towards out, the storeroom. No! Oh nobody touch it! Nobody touch it! I pull it. out a torch, and I light it, and I kind of go back around it, if it'll let me, and I kind of wave it, the torch. It, it stops. I wave the torch in, a, in an it attempt kind of to scare it using fire. Roll intimidation. <laughs> oh, God. For intimidating a five-year-old. five-year-old. Advantage, because fire? Sure. Cool. Yeah. I don't, uh, the advantage was not necessary. Nineteen. Get it, out it, of here. It, it backs up a, a, a few seconds. Huh. Huh. Find your own food. You're really not gonna run. You're just gonna take a step back. I'll take a step towards oh, it. Come on now. Oh, um, There's no need to be it, so. It mean. takes another step back. But hold on, let me see if it. Baron and Nice are just like so out of their zone of expertise. They're just like we we. <laughs> you just got a who back. <laughs> you just got a who back. I would Same. like to just take this moment to say that I also just introduced an owl bear cub to my Discord campaign. Um, and one of my players just texted me. I feel like this owl bear cub situation is a hundred percent karma for you. <laughs> 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 It it, it, it it like starts backing up and kind of going towards the side a little bit. Is it trying to get around me? It runs it. It, it runs out it's the door. Like it, run, it runs around you. It tries to run around you. Hey, wait, come back. I grab come for a dagger and pull it out to throw it. No, no, oh, Kyrie. Oh, 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 punch Kyrie in the face. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, football tackle Kyrie. <laughs> Let's roll initiative. <laughs> oh, you fucking don't attack the this is you evil, evil man! man. The party apart. It's my, it's God the it. job we were given. <laughs> Shady's Don't kind of, kill it. 
changes Kyrie's <laughs> alignment to chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> you killed the owl bear. In fuck eight. Cool oh. six. <laughs> Moving in slow motion. <laughs> what, no. what, I'm just like, what, so, 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 what did you? So, Kyrie got an eight. Yep. Uh, I got a I feel six. Like, I feel like I'm six. about. I feel like I'm about to make a lot of enemies in the Discord in the in the YouTube uh, chat. Jeremy <laughs> rolled a. Jeremy rolled a fifteen. This, I'm pretty sure okay. this is my o the only character I play that would do this. Um, uh, is anyone else doing anything? Uh, Issa rolled, yes. Oh, sorry. I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. Issa rolled a sixteen. Uh, Issa, you're first. <laughs> what do you um, do? Uh. They're gonna see Kyrie pull out a dagger, and you know they don't—they don't really handle animals at all. But it's—it's a—it's a baby, um, so they're gonna kind of like run in front of Kyrie, and just say, D "Don't do that." <laughs> I have a feeling it wants in for a reason. Yes, it wants food. Then Is why it... are we killing it? Because it it's our job to keep these things from taking. Our away job food. was to find out what's going on. I'm running! We're in initiative! I'm running! <laughs> I'm not running yeah. in slow motion! Uh, <laughs> technically, who... I think it's um, Jeremy next, technically. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm running after the owl bear. Oh, they're right. Uh, Except for my... I'm going <laughs> to... Gonna... It's a Kyrie and Emperor voice. Do it. Do it. <laughs> From Catholic God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to just reach into my bag and pull out some, like... <laughs> I don't know, like another potato. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to oh, yeah. be like, no, no, that stuff's bad for you. Come here, eat this potato. <laughs> I'm gonna start, like, I mean, roll we'll animal handling, animal sure. Animal handling, please. Uh, oh, that's really good, actually. Uh, wow, I'm uh, 21. Hey. It hey, yo. stops, it slows down kind of looks at you and kind of looks back to the door and looks between like no come here come here please it please, please don't get yourself killed little owl bear it continues to move towards the door but slower uh, yeah, like I, know you want some, has... I know you want this potato it's it's uh, you know potatoes roll but... insight on it for me please what me insight yes yeah. Guys, do you think, ah. isn't it Oh usually... my god, this die is amazing. I rolled a 30-20. Nice. Uh, we'll get back to you. Yeah, is that what you can see? Guys, isn't it usually the mama bear's job to feed their baby? Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, it From your insight, you definitely think it has a purpose. It doesn't look like it's hungry, but it looks like it has a purpose for going in there. What is... That's not my turn anymore. Uh, I so, think so, I, so, think so, that's so, my, so that's why it's still moving away from you. That's, that's why it's still moving away from you. But yeah, you did do. You are like, it seems to be calmed by you compared to like Kyrie. Um, but it doesn't seem to be like wanting the food. It actually wants like your help. Huh. I will use my remaining movement to follow the owl bear. Okay. Cal put uh, um, three uh, two ninety nine. My stand ship went wait. from Jacob to Colton this night. <laughs> Fuck off, Cal. Wait, <laughs> wait, don't don't do nothing. Wait, we might. It, it's trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking the owl bear's turn. So the owl bear goes in and kind of trots up to the honeyed barley and starts and grabs onto one of the sacks and starts like pulling it out. Kyrie's turn. You say it's I, right I, in front of him. I think I, I, think I skipped Baron. Uh, yeah. Baron yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, follow Jeremy's lead and uh, help the owlbear. Or follow the owlbear. Okay. Do you follow the, you're following the owlbear. Again, it seems to have like a very specific purpose. Kyrie? I'm going to look to look to Issa and then look to Jeremy. <sighs> you guys better know what you're talking about. And I'll put the <laughs> dagger away. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's going on. 
Um, Damon Jacob, was in a full was, sprint, but uh, now Jacob, he's... I was really hoping. I was really hoping that you were going to say, "Cool, I still tackle Kyrie." Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> fine. You did the boom. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Damon, Damon, uh, assessing the situation, will will go inside. He'll see that the the owlbear is struggling to get the, the, this oats and um, and beans. this bread. And uh, listening to fa- what Farron said, he'll. Um, He'll go over and he'll he'll uh, go over to the oats that the that the um, the uh, the owl bear's taking and mm-hmm. he'll go ahead and, and pick it up and uh, kind of take the, the owl off it and go. Come on, let's go. Cool. Kind of like shoot it and along. It, <laughs> and it seems to be smart enough because it um it starts like trotting along like follow me. I, I, follow, I follow. I follow. I follow. I see. Let's walk into the forest. <laughs> Baron I'm makes a, a good point. If uh, the baby's trying to find food for itself, there's likely no mom taking care of him. And you know, I, I mean, that makes perfect sense. Uh. I'd see it as our job necessarily wasn't to kill whatever this was stealing. We were just to find out what it was. It was to so solve we are doing the our problem. Job, Kyrie, and the problem doesn't require killing. Yes, but if we're showing the these bears, these owl bears, that it is okay for them to take supplies from this place, then they will continue to take supplies from this place. Don't worry, Kyrie. I'm sure we can figure this out. Well, listen, if it's doing something for good reason, then maybe we can track it to its source, and if we find a way that we can help that doesn't involve taking stuff from uh, the distillery, then maybe we could work something out. I don't know. Yeah. Or relocate. We'll yeah, we, I, we can't really make any decisions until we, you know, get a lay of the land. Yes. But... D&D um, out of context. I follow the baby owlbear. <laughs> uh, you, so you all are following the owlbear on thing? Tell everybody. Um, me, I'm on my way. <laughs> and the demonetized police come right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of, it, it, it goes into the forest. Um, and you guys kind of walk and follow it for like a good 30 minutes from the, um, the distillery. And into like, like the side of a hill um, is a cave entrance, and it starts like trotting and it stops at the entrance of the cave, Ooh. and kind of oh goes inside. Oh boy, Damon is very afraid, but he uh, uh, he continues. How dark is it inside the cave? Like in general, it's probably <laughs> hmm, it's probably very dark in the forest. It would have been dim light with, like, the moons, because they'd be bright enough, but in the forest it's probably pretty damn dark. By the time that they hit the tree line, Jeremy probably would have just cast light on the end of her staff and... Mm, very nice. Oh. Mm. Well, very cool, very so cool. She just kind of does, has, like, the Gandalf the thing where she kind of, like, whispers <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> cool. Do you guys go into the cave? Yep. I'm not going first, though. <laughs> um, I didn't have time to put my armor back on. Uh, I can go first, but, uh... Fer- Farron, you, you left your armor back? Oh. It takes ten minutes to put on. I'll go I mean, first. I'm, I, I, I'm not afraid. I mean, really, I, I can go first. Oh, I'm not afraid. afraid. I can go. I, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I I'll go. Did you bring I your sword, at least? Yes, I have my sword. All right, I'll I go with you, kid. Sword. I have the shield. I think I should go first. Who has the highest no, AC? I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Mine is Spartacus. 11 right Mine's now. Mine's 16. I'm going in. I'm going in with the oats. I'm going first. OK. Damon goes in. Um, the cave isn't that deep. Um, probably about 100 feet. It, it, it has like a, a, an entrance that's probably about like 15 feet wide and 15 feet tall. Um, it kind of narrows a little bit, and then it opens up to a, a larger space. Um, and in the center of the space is the owlbear cub trotting up to an adult owlbear. However, this adult owlbear is definitely, they're in a bad shape. They seem to have um, wounds on, on its side. It's barely breathing. It's alive, but barely. Um, it seems to be incredibly sick and incredibly wounded. Oh. 
and uh, next to n next to this adult arrow bear are torn open sacks of what was honey, mm. uh, uh, honey barley. I, I put the oats on the ground. <laughs> so the, Can the, I make a kind of like looks like over a... you like uh, like doesn't seem to like really be able to like, like kind of like looks towards you but kind of past you. Got it. Uh, you say? Jeremy will kind of like <clears throat> survey the scene and say, "Oh, that poor creature!" And she she's gonna like very gently approach, like very carefully, um, with like the staff kind of pointed away so that the light isn't like blinding mm -hmm. them or anything. And uh, can can I attempt a medicine check to determine what exactly is wrong with her? More specifically, yeah, aside um... from being aside from being sick and wounded. Yeah, give me a medicine check. Can I guide myself before I do it? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Again, like with um, Damon, it seems to like recognize that you're there, but yeah, 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 I get it. But can't like focus. Uh, that's a fifteen for medicine. Yeah, it seems like this our bear got like hurt in a fight, probably with some other creature of the forest. Um, maybe gored by a, a um, like a deer, or um, another hour bear, or a bear got got mm -hmm. it, um, and the wound is incredibly bad. But what's even worse is since it wasn't like ever taken care of properly, because an hour bear can't like mess and check itself. Um, <laughs> It's kind of festered and gotten incredibly infected, and like necrosis has kind of gone across various parts of the uh, um, the hour bear, and it's probably on its last legs. If it didn't have the hour bear cub having found that food source, it probably would have starved days ago. Oh, so she's in a pretty a bad weeks shape ago, maybe here. even that, maybe even like a week ago. Who knows? I think I, I think I might be able to help her. Um, Damon is holding okay? back a little bit, and he looks over. And he he looks down towards the, towards the the bear. And he 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 feels immense pity for the creature. And just comes through and says, "Is there anything you can do?" Uh, I I can try. I mean, I I want to, but I don't know if it'll work. Um, I cause, have you know I. What do you mean? Well, see, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a devotee of Vivona, the the <coughs> goddess of nature, and this creature doesn't exactly fall under her purview. You know, it's not really natural, but um, I can't just. I I'll also just... say, because I'm crazy, the lore is slightly different in this world, so you can't go off of regular D and D lore. If you want to know, okay, if, it, if you want to know, I, well, pull me a nature check. Big seven. <laughs> uh, you've, not, you, you've you've heard of our bears. You know that they're ferocious creatures. You don't know much about them. Jeremy, this uh, thing is uh, some kind of abomination of two other animals, but it it lives in this world. It's uh, hmm. it it lives in nature. It lives in a cave like any other bear. It just has a different face. Is all. I don't think um, it's much different than uh, than any other kind of bear. Well, I, I do have a healing is my specialty. I, I don't like to talk about it too much, but um, <laughs> that is kind of what I what I do aside from cooking. Um, I think I, it's I, mighty I, coincidental I, we met you on this day right before we uh, we <laughs> uh, found this yeah, bear. Yeah, how about that? I, I, it's pretty crazy. The goddess works in mysterious ways. Um, I could heal it, but I think I'd need something a little stronger to drive off the. I could. We could close the wounds easily enough with healing magic, but. Of course, and uh, the, Damon says we can work together if you'd like, and he kind of goes over to his bandolier and kind of pulls off a little like like vial with like red liquid in it. Let me try something first, before that. Um, sure. She, uh, Jeremy, will step forward, and she's gonna clutch the like little carved wooden like amulet around her neck yeah. um yeah. she's gonna place a hand on the owl bear uh okay. and whisper uh goddess this creature has suffered greatly in your name grant me the power 
to bring her peace. And I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration to remove the disease. Uh, let me just double check, I think. Oh, so disease. Uh, lesser Restoration, you touch a creature and can end either one disease or one condition afflicting it. Very good. Um, you cast the spell and the healing magic kind of goes out and kind of envelops the creature a little bit and you start seeing like the necrotic necrosis start to pull back and it seems to be mostly gone the wounds are still there and the arrow actually seems to perk up a little like it looks to be feeling better not 100 percent, but definitely better that's incredible jeremy it works. That's, that's amazing that's that's amazing i can't that's, believe it uh, and Jeremy will, uh, J- sorry, not Jeremy. Uh, Damon will take uh, out a vial and and, and kind of uh, pour it over the creature and kind of uh, ca- cast cure wounds. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, cool. Let me use yeah cure wounds, and that's going to be one d eight. I think. Yep. Uh, ah, five minimum. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> yep. It heals over some of the wounds. It seems the, the worst of them. It seems that, that there are still some, but it seems like it possibly could survive now. And it kind of tries to get up, like, but it, it still seems a little weak. And the, the, the little cup arrow bear kind of uh, nudges the food next to it and um, get, tries to get it to start eating. Easy now, easy, easy. And I, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna take out one of the carrots in my pocket and kind of break it up into chunks and kind of spread it amongst the oats and mm-hmm. before I before I do imbue it with a uh, a first level healing word yeah. or a first level cure wounds. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone can so. heal some sort of for Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> he just has knives. He casts. Uh, oh my God! We all can heal except for Kyrie. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie can only nine heal from life. Of, uh, nine points of healing coming the all bears way. How much? Nine. nine. Cool. Uh, four plus three with is seven plus two because I'm a devotee of life. Cool. So, uh. That's incredible, that Jeremy. Is, that's some that's some amazing magic you can do there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's actually ten. I'm a silly okay. boy. It's ten. Wow. It, you uh, definitely hear a good a, a good amount of the wounds now. It seems to have mostly healed healed over. It's probably right. still a little hurt, but not nearly. It's not on death's door anymore. I just kind of pat the the owl bears like. Mm-hmm. Blank gently it's and a, I takes I step mm-hmm. back and I say, I think we may want to Yeah, let's give him some space. Here. Yeah. It was good. It was it was good. I, I pat Jeremy's little head and uh and and head out of the cave. <laughs> Your hands are awfully big. Ow. Oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got big hands. No, you're all right. Um I I I sure wish that I could talk to these creatures and see if I could get them to move along, but um, I think they'll be okay now that uh, that uh, once once their uh, their mother is healed up a bit, she'll be able to find some proper food for them other than uh, oats. Well, I hope so. Hopefully, they haven't developed a, an affinity for it or or nothing. But uh, well, uh, I, I go over to Kyrie and I say, uh, "Thank you for being patient and mm-hmm. and letting us do what we had to. You're a good man." been a while since I've heard that one. Oof. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is a decent chance that these owlbears just continue going to the distillery. You guys know that, right? Of course, but... Eh, I don't know. But we won't know for certain until there's an opportunity, you know? Maybe they'll get out of here. Only time can tell, and once this big one's rested up a bit, and maybe they'll head on out. I don't know. Barry, all we need to do is uh, put a lock on that door. <laughs> and the people did. wandering outside at night? We just warn them that there's an owl bear around. Let and them be a little careful. Out. And they'll hire someone to kill it. Why would they? You're completely negative, aren't you? I've seen situations like this before. There is a, they're not an owlbear, but there is a place 
where stuff is being taken by animals, they will hire whoever they need to hire to make sure the animals no longer take the stuff. Usually that means killing the animals. Well, why don't we see how they react? If they react negatively, then we'll do something else. I couldn't find it on their own. They won't find it again. I'm not going to tell them there were any owlbears. Then what are we going to say? The situation is handled. We won't tell you what it is. Well, we we do kind of have to explain the fact that another bag of oats has gone missing on our watch. We just recompense, yes. We could yeah. we could give them recompense, but um, I don't know if they'd be too keen on that. We just explain the situation. Ah, uh, uh, we could, yeah. I, well, I mean, we got to be honest. Um, I don't know. And who knows, you know, maybe Kyrie, you're right, and they'll keep causing trouble, and someone will have to come put them down, and maybe people will get hurt, but I couldn't just stand by and let the poor creatures suffer. If it were you, I'd have done the same. I understand that. That's not the issue. The issue is we've done half the job. If we want them to live, we need to make them understand that they can't be coming there. Then let's wait one more night and see what they do. How would you go about doing that, Kyrie? I don't know animals. You guys have done no, a much better job than I have in the last 30 minutes. Let's wait. Let's, I, let's give it one more night, and uh, and if they come back, then, then we know we have to deal with it. If they don't, then the problem's solved. Hey, Tyler, how long has stuff been missing? Like, when did... Because it's been at least three days, right? And Eaton had the jobs for us. Yeah, so it's been probably about a week. Okay. Can we at least talk to the distillery owner, and once they're awake, of course, Yes. and ask if they even had knowledge of an owl bear? I mean... They might not have known. <coughs> if they... They likely didn't know, because they kept claiming that they never saw it. Well, let me... Let me uh... Let me also be frank with you, uh, 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 Kyrie. Uh, we're the only ones uh, being hired hands here. Um, it's likely those owlbears will move on by the time anybody else comes into Eatonboro looking for jobs. I don't think these uh, distillery workers can stand a chance against an owlbear. I'm pretty sure they'll die. That thing is very, very powerful. Very, yes. very ferocious being. So what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that they're not going to kill it because uh, we're the only ones that could. Yeah. But now you do pose a. I suppose we tell the distillery owner that there's an owlbear out in the woods and they were trying to feed their, their mom. And uh, we'll stay one more night to make sure that they don't come back because we, we helped out their mother. And uh, if we do, we'll drive them off. And if we don't, we suggest we don't go kill them because it's a powerful creature. Fair. That's not a bad idea. All right, then. Uh, Damon's going to head back to the distillery. Uh, didn't know adventure would be so complicated. It usually isn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. It's to, sorry usually isn't. You here. just plans, cool Miss Kyrie. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if we made the right decision today, but we'll find out soon enough. And yes. God is willing, it'll be, it'll have been the right one. And if it isn't, and if it is, either way, you have to live with it. Know that you did your best. I'm glad we understand one another, Mr. Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Well, I am fucking exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my life. Covers up Farron's ears. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I am going to follow Mr. Damon back to the distillery. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give one last look to the owlbear, little owlbear fam, and I'll whisper a silent prayer uh, to Vivona to watch over them and guide them to safety away from this place. Uh, if, it, if, if that be her will. Uh, Cool. Um, yeah, so you guys go back to the distillery. Do you guys go 
talk to people or are you gonna go uh, well, it is three well it's 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 what like four o'clock in the morning by it's, this point? it's like four it's like four in the morning okay it's sleep um and i push the long rest button yeah, you can finish my long now rest. finish your long rest wow i get back all my hit dice because the previous day i had short rested <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i get to prepare new spells <laughs> <laughs> I could too, but I just don't want to. I'm not allowed to prepare spells. Guys, I could take catapult. <laughs> Sling Jeremy at people. Catapult <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy! <laughs> 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 That'd be amazing. Um, oh boy. I love that. Yeah, love so you guys so wake up the next morning. It's wake uh, up. sunny. It's, a, it's, a, well, it's an overcast day. Um, We've but seen you're... the sun once here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's frozen north. Yeah. It's cold. It's <sighs> kind of dark. What do you guys do? Um, I'm going to wake up and go find the, the distillery owner if I can. Yeah, he, he, he's probably been awake for a little bit because you, since you guys woke up in the middle of the night, um, <laughs> you guys have probably slept in a little bit longer. Um, uh, hold on a second. I would say Issa probably wandered out about some time when they heard kind of people mm -hmm. getting up, but it was more mm -hmm. of like they didn't say anything. It was more of just they're just yep. still in hanging and out. People seem they, they all seem to know why you're there. Um, and so you yet. find the um the, the owner, uh George, in the distillery proper, um, and he looks oh. Did you find anything out? Uh, oh, yes. So um, uh, it's a bit of a complicated situation here, George. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you can uh, just kind of understand our side of things on this. OK. Um, how much is a bag of uh, your oats? Uh, the, the honey <laughs> oats? Yeah, how much is a bag of they run? This conversation. Probably, well, we don't really sell those usually. How much does it cost you? Now most of gold. I give him two. I hand. I hand him two gold. Oh. oh, oh okay. We oh, lost the bag, unfortunately. Okay. So um, do you know what was what what what, what happened? Yeah, yeah, we do. So um, there was uh, an owl bear cub came by. Oh. Op knows how to open the door. Actually, came oh. in and took a bag, and we followed it to its cave, and we found that it uh, it um, its uh, mother was hurt and diseased and. And uh, dad, dad and hurt very badly. We uh, we went into the cave and, and helped uh, their mother and uh, healed healed that healed her back up and uh, gave them oh. some of the oats to eat because they were starving and their mother couldn't hunt for them. Um, they have oh. a couple of concerns that uh, perhaps they have uh, grown fond of your oats uh, and may may come back for more. Um, frankly, myself, I I believe that. Uh, they may move on once their mother is healed up and she'll uh, properly hunt something for her babies when the time is right. Uh, I'd invest maybe in a lock on your door because they know how to open yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but you shouldn't have lock. any, I, I don't think you should have any more problems from these bears whatsoever. Um, and I don't think there's any real reason to go hunt them or anything like that. Just okay. uh, We do propose well, to stay the, the next night just to see. If just to double check. Problem. Yeah, that, that 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 would be nice. Um, just to make sure if, if they come in or not. Um, we knew that there was probably some in the area. It's they're they're not like common, but up here, but they're they're more common, even more up north. Um, I've heard stories that they're very deadly. They can be, but they're also kind of skittish as well from people mm. usually. Mm. Um, so so it's been desperate to come to see. That's, been very that, that's what I'm assuming. Oh. What, what what you're saying? Yes. Um, the, the people of uh, uh, the, the tribes up north kind of hold them in higher esteem. They count them as almost like holy and divine. Um, mm, well, uh, and, and, we, and, we, and we do trade with them, so they'll be happy to know that you guys helped them out with one. So we'll keep an eye out for them. Um, very nice. Thank you very much. So, uh, we'll, we'll I, I, I so. totally got it mixed I'll, up in my head, and I was like, you trained with the owlbears? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, <laughs> yes, we chased with the owl bears. These, these <laughs> oh man! But yeah, so yeah, thank thank you for letting us know about that. We'll definitely like if we see them, we'll scare them off. But 
we we tend to try to respect their um their culture up I mean, there because we do we have business you, with them you've, so you've never had any problems with them no, before all no, this have no, you? We, we we've known that they they're around especially the, 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 i'm assuming it's the same family um but we've never really seen them directly so well then there shouldn't be any problems um I hope so. Once mom is all good to go, ready to roll. Um, That's my hope as well. But uh, thank you for your understanding. Uh, we, I'll, I'll be honest. I thank was a little helping. worried that you might get a little mad at us. Um, oh. We lost your you know, property. You know, we lost uh, your stack of oats. I mean, what's one bag when I've already lost a half a dozen or so? <laughs> well, that's an awfully, awfully optimistic. I mean, I'll probably, I mean, probably just with this story alone, I'll probably make double that with um, my business with the, with the truck. Oh yeah. So it's probably like a, more profit, profitable. For maybe me. you can make like a whole new special vintage or something like, like owl bear, honey bear, honey whiskey or something. Maybe, oh, maybe. I very, I very I, I'd could. buy that. That's definitely I'd something that. I could think about. Well, uh, well, all right, well, let's go. Uh, well, yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, before you guys go, um, he like goes and gets um, five bottles of honeyed whiskey. Yeah, yeah, boy. yeah. <laughs> holding on to that shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm going Some of my best stuff. If here. you guys want to stay, you guys can. Um, we could probably deal with it, especially if we can get the lock on the door as soon as we can, too. Um, we'll keep an eye out. We'll let, um, uh, Lord Eaton know if we hear anything about it. Well, thank you. That's. That, I think I think that works out with me fine. Uh, I'm down to stay here or up for leaving, whichever you folk think is best. Uh, I know I'm just kind of tagging along on this little uh, little adventure, but. Uh, yeah. So, um, would you need us to stay another night? Um, that's up to you guys. Uh, I'll stay another night. All right, just to and double check. You could do the same thing as the, the night before. Well, if Mr. Farron's staying, then I'm then I'm gonna stay too. <laughs> cool. Um, I think from there, uh, do you guys do do anything during the day? Probably not. We just hang out, <laughs> play cool. play uh, dice. Cool. We play we play garbage and ghosts. <laughs> Jeremy DMs. Go see garbage. <laughs> oh my god, she garbage masters. She garbage, she garbage masters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, nice. Amazing. Um, uh, yeah. You guys, um, uh, I, uh, do you guys have any role play that you guys want to do? Uh, no. I think <laughs> or, I, oh, I can just wait 100. Jeremy but. will spend some time, like, uh, I think she'll want to learn about like the process of processing, process of processing, <laughs> uh, these these oats and and barley and like mm -hmm. kind of figuring out how it all works. And she, I think she might take it upon herself to go around and uh, cast a couple of uh, of purify food and drink on like the oats and stuff. Just Amazing. To make sure. You know, cool. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. 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 And so, and so some of the farm, uh, the um, George definitely is like interested in it. It's not like the recipe isn't like. Um, secret necessarily that there are a number of honey whiskey farms but like um be, the way that they do it, it, it is like he says that the secret ingredient for him is love um oh, oh, is that like, just the amazing <laughs> yeah. he said but, um, like groans <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably. Um, you strike me as a very wholesome person <laughs> damon um, is like how do you how do you formulate love <laughs> Maybe he's like trying to think about it. Yeah. Oh, isn't it just like a scholar to try and ascribe some scientific meaning to an emotion yeah, like that? Yeah. Uh, and so he kind of shows you how, and like the farmhands actually are like, and they're, they're all like, "Oh, that's awesome that you get, that you can just purify that." They're, they're, they're actually almost thankful. They're like, "Oh, oh it's, actually, it's that'll probably make like the best batch we've had." It's it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, just you know, she's like blushing and stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, and then um, I think she'll she'll take some time out of the day too to just like wander off into the woods and find some like secluded glen and just do some meditation, maybe yep. hunt for some cool. mushrooms. Yep. And if anyone wants to come with her, she welcomes them. But otherwise, oh definitely, alone oh too. definitely, Damon goes. Cool. Oh yeah, we probably talk a lot about <laughs> the scientific properties of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And then at the end of the day, you guys set up your, I'm assuming you set up your alarms again. Yep. Um, you, uh, you spend the night. Um, during one of your arrests, the, the only thing that you guys heard was a distant um, hoot of a large owl. AKA nice. the owl bell, you heard from a distance. And nothing comes to the Oh It's like a George. It's like a Disney movie or something. And then we slowly so fade out into the to the sky with the image of the moons as we take a break. Uh, awesome, cool, cool, cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we'll be back in about 15-ish to 20-ish minutes, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, joining. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more garbage and ghosts. Got him garbage and ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute.
Welcome back. I'm assuming we're back. Mm. We're back. Welcome back. I was just enjoying some delicious G Fuel. Uh, you can get 10% off if you use code Fireball on some uh, some whatever you want off of the store. It's a, it's delicious. Incredible. Get, some, get some cans. Get some, get some cans. Get some Pop Rocks. Look, I'm not, I'm not here for commercial breaks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry. Nice. Oh, hey, Jacob. Uh, you do that uh, a couple of my, uh, one of my friends who's in my uh, Taldore Discord game yeah. has just subscri has just subscribed, uh, <laughs> and she says that uh, she says that she she you guys have earned a new fan. So hey, cool, hey. awesome! It's all because you're here, Jack. So shout out to yep. shout out to Honey Alien Adrian who are watching right now. <laughs> hey, uh, what's up? We'll deal what's with up? our baby owl bear soon enough. But, um, <laughs> anyway, oh, that's me. Cool. So, you guys spent the night. It was fairly uneventful. And now you are free to go back to Eatonborough. Let's go back to Lord Eaton and um, yeah. tell him that we completed all of the quests so he can give us a brand new large story quest once we're <laughs> out of tutorial land. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, Speaking of, this was the this was the episode that like introduced the moral quandary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was, dude, episode two. <laughs> I, I, I never watched episode two, so I guess... Uh, Kyrie was on. It was weird. We hated sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anakin was a creep. She got everywhere. Yeah. Um, Cute. Yeah. The biggest creep. Not just the men, but the women. But yeah, it was strange. strange. Yeah. They were animals. Anyway. Um, oh, my God. Um, um, animals, and I handled them like animals. Like animals. <laughs> 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 uh. You going to say oh. something, Kyrie? So we're going back then. If you guys yes. are, yeah, I'm heading back. When uh, when is that letter supposed to be getting here, Damon? Ooh, that reminds letter? Me. I don't know. You don't know. Oh, I. Uh, truth be told, here, Jeremy, I'm a I'm a professor from Afnia. I um. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um. And I shouldn't be calling you Mr. Damon. I should be calling you Professor Damon. Oh well, yeah. Only my students really call me Professor Damon. Uh, and so it's all right. But um, I, uh, I came here on a special mission to find um, the, uh, the stone. It's a... Uh, divine shard. Um, the divine shard. It's apparently oh. a very powerful thing. And um, only, you know, there's, it's made of metal. It's uh, not a crystal. It's uh, only <laughs> very certain people can use it. Um, for example, one of them, one of the most powerful ones that I know is in the Sifter of Leadership. Uh, with the uh, the king of Avnia, um, oh. and uh, it's an incredible item. Creates magic and whatnot. I actually have tiny replicants, very tiny, tiny ones of my own that I use to power my my inventions. And I pull out like these tiny little like diamond shaped uh, 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 crystals. Um, and he says oh. uh, these these are magical things. And uh, effectively, imagine those as like a very large housing center of, of one. Very powerful things. They seem to be Fancy. linked via. They seem to be linked via blood bloodline and whatnot. Only very specific people can use them. So um, I was. I came here to find it, and uh, sure enough, <coughs> the, these three. Uh, they they found one, and I uh, informed the uh, Royal University of Afnia to let them know that um, that their suspicions were true, and I'm waiting on orders. And so. I'm willing to bet that Eaton will have something for all of us to do once that comes in. Yes. So. Um, that's, uh, well, that's we what best I'm get doing. back then. Oh, uh, yes. yeah, I'm just waiting no, for you're letters. Dawdling. Yep. And uh, oh. I'm just walking back to Eatonburg. Yep. yep. So it takes about, back. it takes nine hours to get back to Eatonburg. Um, and so you guys probably left about, like, what, nine o'clock, 9 a.m.? Yeah, probably around um, there. So that would make it, what, like, late afternoon by the time you get back to Eatonburg? Yeah. Probably. Um, and the, the, it would the be city's like six o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah. Like five or six. Yeah, then like late afternoon, early evening. It'd be early say. evening because it'd be six. True. Sure. Sorry, nine to uh, five but, is uh, eight, uh, so you uh, just uh, add one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially since it's um, spring months coming out of summer and you're f so far up, up north, it's probably starting to get a, a little dark. Um, but the city's still, a bustle is still within prime time for people to be. Um, going about town, doing their things, um, and head back to the Adventurers Guild. Uh, mm -hmm. And Lord Eaton just happens to be there, and he's like, oh, you guys are back. Nice. Awesome. Uh, did, you, did you figure out what happened? 
Yes. Owl bear. Owl bear. Ooh. Baby one. Interesting. Jeremy was uh, quite useful. She helped us a lot. Oh, nice. you're you're just saying that to be nice, Issa. But thank you. Uh, no, really, it was a group effort. I couldn't have done it without everyone else's help. Hmm. Well, uh, hopefully you guys were able to handle that with yourselves. However, you guys did that. Um, I'm not too specific, but it's interesting that you guys found that out. And normal play turned good to you guys. Uh, yes. Uh, Whatever uh, that is, do, I, do, I, I do, do, like do you guys that. remember? Because I can't remember off the top of my head what the normal thing. Let me check, because I'm pretty sure you I guys put it. Like I probably have 500 platinum pieces. Uh, yeah, no, 500 platinum pieces. No, I don't think it's it that should be. Much. It should be in my notes. Like three I think legendary I, items. It's Thirty piece. gold. Yep, thirty gold each. Then thirty gold each, including Jeremy. Uh, I oh thank you. Uh, I will go over to Lord Eaton's desk or wherever he is, and I'll go mm -hmm. into my bag and I'll pull out my bottle of honey whiskey, and I'll just yeah. I'll give it to him, and I'll oh. say I, I'm I'm not really much for for drinking, but uh, I I thought maybe you might like it, or if you don't, you can always give it to somebody who might. Um, I'm not I, I'm not above <clears throat> regifting things I'm not a fond of myself, <laughs> but. Uh -huh. Uh, no, no, I absolutely, uh, this is a local, almost delicacy, it's, it's kind of what's special about the area, it'd be nice to maybe share this, share this with someone around here, I might go talk to Lady Arthur, maybe she'll want it. Oh, want it. She's, she sounds fancy, well, uh, give my regards to her, and yeah, you enjoy I, that I whiskey and the fine lady's company, mister, uh, my, my lord. <laughs> I'm, a li like, I, I'm a little old for her, yourself. I'm a little old for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, by the way, Damon, I got a letter for you. It came in uh, early today. He hands you a letter with a royal seal on it. And Sir Eaton, we still have the it's... um, divine shard. It's safe. Yeah, it's in the safe right now. You, do you want it? Maybe later. Reason for it? Maybe okay. let's see what the letter says first. Um, the, the letter is from the chancellor um, that ha that had contacted. Damon's university to begin with, and who Damon sent the letter to back. Um, I don't have it fully written out, so this is kind of the general idea of it. Um, they thanked you for like your, your prompt response, um, and they are very happy to have learned that this is a thing, um, and they um, invite the um, all members of the Adventurers Guild and um, Damon they don't count you as part of the Ventures Guild yet because they don't know that you joined. Um, but they invite you to the Royal Palace at your earliest convenience. Um, and they would love if you could bring the shard as well. It is He also mentions um, <clears throat> that technically speaking, the shard is under your guys' pro property. Um, they might, might want to try and um, maybe buy it off of you or trade something or do something with it if, if you mm -hmm. would be willing for it. But it's your guys' property. But they would like to make sure, just to make sure. So Damon, sure. Damon reads the letter. He doesn't read it out loud. Uh, and he reads and, it. And the letter acts as a kind of an invitation to the palace, an official invitation to the palace, presented to the guards, and they will then set up a meeting for you and uh, hi, uh, him at the chancellor. I turn to the rest of the party after finishing it, and I say, "Well, Farron, it uh, looks like you're going to be going home." Um, They've invited all of us to the royal palace with the uh, with the shard, okay. and they want to trade for it. They uh, they they want it, and um, trade I'm... for it, isn't it theirs? Hey, well, it's ours technically. What's well, yours? Sorry, yours technically. Um, and they want uh, they want the adventurers to um, to uh, to come and uh, meet with maybe some royalty and discuss this this shard. Uh, it's a very very big honor, and I am very much obliged to. Uh, uh, ask you to come with me to Evnia. Oh, yes, I'd like to go home. I was going to send a letter home, but I guess I don't really... It's a bit of a far away uh, journey. Oh, that's um, true. But I, 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 uh, Jeremy, it's a bit more towards a home for you, so... Uh... Uh, yeah, well... It's... <laughs> Je Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, I, I walked for two weeks to get here. Jeremy, I'm about to walk for another two weeks. <laughs> Past home. <laughs> uh, before home. Not quite home. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, it's closer. I'm basically okay. All right, well, um, before. this is really uh -huh. good. Uh, Lord Eaton, we're, we're, I'm going to be needing that, um, 
that, wait are that we shore. are we are we going are we going to to Abnia and 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 you said to the palace oh, why yeah, you've, you've all been invited like the king's palace uh, yes there's only one oh, wow I've never been inside myself actually I said before it's a, you guys technically own it um I'm just holding on to it so um and, I, and, and it's a good thing that I, I only have one more thing that I could have you guys do, but I don't think I'm going to have you guys do it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Insight. Fun and <laughs> yeah, I'm curious, too. Okay. Um, can, can, I get the, can I get the shard? Oh, wait. Yeah. 13. Uh, are you asking him if he can have the shard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I have the shard? And he's still going to cut in. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll. If you see, I was going to cut in. Sorry, wait, wait for me. Don't, don't yeah. do anything yet. So, you guys, what, what, what was you guys' insights again? Uh, twenty-one. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Uh, thirteen. I... You don't get a whole lot from him. That's uh, twenty-one. You get that he, what he said was true, but he seems like. I have something, but I don't. He seems he, definitely does not want to. He's also scared to send you on whatever uh, extra thing he has. And he's just going to, you know, what is it? Put two connect two the dots. Together. There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> connect the dots, and it's his other team that got wiped out. Yes. You yeah. could probably easily connect those dots. Yeah. Um, so that was what they assumed from the get-go at that yep. moment. But you know what? It's just yep. good to double-check. But You can definitely connect those dots. That's probably yeah. connected. Hmm. <laughs> probably. Yeah, <laughs> um, but uh, Damon, I I wish to apprise at first, if you don't mind. What? Sorry. I wish to handle the divine shard. Oh, I was going to give it to Farron. Why were you going to give it to me? You, uh, I don't know. You seem to be the most protective and have um, uh, holy smiting abilities. I yes, I have. And those. an oath. I do have an oath. Yes. This is my nice way of saying I trust him the most. Oh, okay. but I was the one who touched it first. That is true. I think. Yeah. Uh, Lord Eden goes and unlocks the safe and brings it out. And just, it, it looks like a, an, an inert diamond shape thing about this big. No, I don't think. Wow. Fancy looking thing. It's, like, it's, it's almost pitch black looking, but like metallic at the same time. <clears throat> Awfully what dark. And Isid's going to hesitate. And it, depending on what happens eventually, I, I'll explain later if I'm if everything turns out all right. And they're going to take it. Yep. You take it. Wait, it's, it's, it's yours. I... I know that. I, I am not trying to take it from you or anything. I just, I have a job to do, and I need okay. to escort that to uh, the castle. Understandable. Um, well, then, should we be on our way? Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to stop at the, the post before we leave. I, sure. I have a letter to send. You know, going home. Issa wiggles their eyebrows. <laughs> You're letting your lady friend know. Uh, you know, and my my mom and my my dad. Your lady friend? Do you have any true love, Mister Farron? He, uh, he does, and it's very cute. You know, if you want the letter to get there ahead of time, we could rest for the night. Anyways, it's kind of late. Sun's going down in about an hour. Yeah, yeah no, we can leave out. in the morning. Uh, yeah, I can yeah, whip up some of that mushroom time. risotto. Uh, Damon and I found some fine-looking uh, specimens out in the out in the forest near the distillery, and I could whip that <laughs> up into this. What time is it? It's probably about six or seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, there's no reason to leave now. We could we could get a two hour head start. <laughs> Do you but really want to try that all day, day Mr. Damon? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry? We've been walking all day, Mr. Damon. Sure. Oh, no, uh, I, I know, but um, no, my, my legs are already ready to go. Fired up. Yes, but walking uh, through the night is probably not the best idea. Yeah, I can't see in the dark. I'm not. I'm not one. I'm not like a like some of you fancy folks that have the the ability to do that. Uh, I mean, I this is to... of utmost urgency. Well, yeah, yeah, but 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you want to go, I, I'll go too. But like, can we just wait like a little bit? Like, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, sorry, not to be impromptu up. DM here, but Issa mm -hmm. and Jeremy roll persuasion. Okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's your character, so you could do. Okay. It. My, my specialty. <laughs> no, actually, roll pretty well. Uh, Truly, Issa specialty. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, Oh, or Damon. higher than the bard, seven. <gasps> Damon kind of turns and he's like, oh, okay, it'd probably be best if we left tomorrow anyways. I'll give you an extra helping of risotto for it. Okay. I was thinking of making <laughs> some seed cakes too, if, if, if Lord Eaton will let me. I uh, love use seed an oven cakes. Or seed cakes are delicious. Well, if you guys are going to do that, why don't we have a little farewell at my, um, back at my, uh, my place? Yes. yes! Please. Whoa, your coffee. fancy manner, Lordy. That's yeah, kind of generous of you. Uh, he still remembers the bougie coffee. <laughs> I want the, the bougie coffee. coffee. I'm excited. Do, you have a, do you have a big kitchen, uh, I, Lord Eaton? I do. I, I do indeed. Oh, I am so excited. I am going to whip you all up the best damn risotto you've ever had. Uh, okay. Um, what are we all waiting for? If you guys okay, cool. go to the World Anvil map and bring up, uh, click on Eatonborough and click on Open Map, you can look at um, the map of Eatonborough. You can see at the bottom there is the Adventure Guild Lodge. Cool. Yeah. Right, first, we it's, stop for the post office for the child. Yes. Yeah. You can go <laughs> along the docks and up the, cent the Central World Road, which brings you to the World Avenue and post Postal Service, which, as I described in the very first episode, is, is full of the, the best way to send mail out in between cities is birds. through mechanical birds. Birds! I, I, uh, I, I give, love them. I give the birds my letters. And they will send them off. It's, you know, a, it, it's a nominal fee, probably like a few silver. So okay, I, I will... <laughs> no, it's all right. You conduct your business and then I'll ask my questions. Uh, uh, what? I was just wondering, they kept saying that you're, like, young and stuff, but you don't look that young to me. How old are you, anyway? Um, that's, uh, that's, it it's not important. <laughs> We're all, like, over here just like, hmm, yeah. It, it's not really important how old I am. How old are you, um, Jeremy? I'm 21. I'm a, I'm oh, a, see, she told you, now you have I'm to a, tell I'm her. I'm around the same age. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Good around enough for that. me. Around. 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 Uh, I'm, uh, a bunch I'm, of young folk. I'm not, I'm not that How young. old are you, Mr. Damon? I'll be 30 later this year. Oh, okay. We're not that far apart, you and me. Mm. Sweats nervously. <laughs> he says like a thousand years old. I mean, it's the Feywild. Oh. It goes differently there. That sounds fancy. Yes, it is. Things How many go. different friends have you had over the course of that many years? Depends on what you constitute as friends. Oh boy. I really <laughs> don't trust you with that shard. But I'm not good. I don't know why I said that. Let's have some fun at the manor. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on. <laughs> um, There's no need to bring bring down the mood with asking questions like yeah. that. Uh, and at this point, you guys have reached the manor house. Oops. Which I know Colton found it. Uh, has anyone found it on the map? Just to make yeah, sure. I, I feel like Kyrie's well, been yeah. waiting there, just like tapping his foot. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys go into this big manor house. There's a large like dining room. Um, let's get the jovial music going. Oh, oh music? Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> What's the song? Uh, the uh, I'm playing from hey, um, um, the RPG playlists, but you don't have Spotify, oh. but I'm playing, um, it's, uh, the musty scent of fresh pate from, um, Blood and Wine, uh, Witcher 3. Yes, it is Witcher, Witcher isn't it? Back huh? DLC. I was gonna say, yeah. this is Witcher, yeah. isn't it? Witcher. Uh, hot take, yeah. I, I like Heart of Stone more than I like Blood and Wine. Heart of Stone is really cool. It <laughs> is very cool. I agree with you, Colton. <laughs> oh, Tucson, Tucson is just so cool looking, though. Yeah, yeah I don't so know. Beautiful. Like, Heart of Stones is cool, but Tucson, though. Sorry. Yeah, it's like, that's the thing. It's a, you have a whole, like, second game map in there. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Okay. Um, 
Yeah, and he 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 actually like probably plays it over like a, like a mechanical, almost like um, recorder. That's amazing. Like, 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 a, like a phonograph type thing. Uh, <laughs> what is phonograph? Yep. Look at, uh, look at the phonograph. <laughs> and there are some, there are some serpents around, but he actually keeps a fairly small amount of serpents. He doesn't like he doesn't seem to like to have like the massive sprawling ones that some of the lords have. Um, and there's a very large kitchen that Jeremy could have tons of fun in, and it's a massive oh, kitchen. She has a freaking ball. She's making risotto. It's, she's it's making probably the cakes. biggest kitchen. In a, it's easily the biggest kitchen she's ever seen. Def no, Actually, definitely. Actually, if you, I think if you look up, I think it's. Um, the kitchen is the size of your hut. What's it called? <laughs> um, probably. And then my, some. <laughs> my little hobbit hole. <laughs> Uh, Hearst Castle. If you look up the kitchen of Hearst Castle, it's probably very similar to that. That just brought uh, so many fifth grade memories into my brain. <laughs> yeah, oh, me too. Hearst oh, Castle. Oh, oh, oh Jeremy I never went. definitely get lost in this for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to break out my own cooking tools and use whatever they have there, and I'm going to throw together yeah. like a meal, uh, some yeah. mushroom risotto with like some some like uh, steamed broccoli with like mm -hmm. uh, like lemon and garlic and things like that. Just all the incredible, fancy, yep. fancy schmancy stuff. And actually, um, you guys are having kind of this nice little 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 get together um, as a farewell. And actually, at one point, um, the, there's a knock at the door, um, and one of the servants uh, leads in a uh, a young woman, um, probably mid twenties. Um, she's has a Black, uh, a decently long black hair, um, kind of like a like a almost a riding coat and boots, uh, rather than like the super fancy. It, it's like a fine clothing, but kind of almost like a like a writer's clothing. Um, and uh, she greets uh, Lord Eaton. They kind of hug and they kind of like, have a chat in like the corner of the room. Sorry, yes. Tyler. I just re I, sorry, Tyler. I just realized who this was, um, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, cool. Huh? <laughs> don't worry you guys, about it. Don't you guys don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> ship Damon and Farron. Ship Kyrie and Pythias. <laughs> <laughs> someone said. Someone said that they think Jeremy and Damon is is the better ship. <laughs> no one wants they me to have really, my true love. They just really <laughs> like their height differences. Uh, Faramon. Faramon. Yeah. It's my brother, Faramon. <laughs> The real um, ship is Jacob and Jack. Hey, uh, oh, nah, what am I over uh, here? <laughs> you can have Grace. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm Tyler. Glad I'm glad I'm the <laughs> just Bachman, this settle. Jack Bachman says Kyrie's knife and a baby owl bear. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Ultimate ship. Ultimate um, ship. <laughs> We know. All you guys shoved that into the dirt faster than you could say no. <laughs> so personal, bro. Oh, I know. Um, okay. You're just like, no, oh, I know. Fuck, I you know. wouldn't let me murder babies. <laughs> <laughs> My choices. I was going like, this is in character. No, no, at this no. Point. I know. I know. <laughs> what well, character would do? Too many of them. What are we going to do? <laughs> Just kind of go around and serve the risotto on little plates. She's kind of gotten rid of her poncho and her hat, and now she's got on like a little like floral apron, um, and, like, tied back in like a like a little bun, and uh, she's like carrying this little like tray of, mm -hmm. of like these plates of risotto and kind of setting them out. Um, and I and she looks up at the lady and says, "Oh." Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't. I, I didn't get an extra bowl, but I'll I'll be right oh, back and get you some. No, it's fine. I I, I, I probably see? won't be here for very long. I'm just catching oh. up about some important business. Uh, actually, oh. I should probably introduce myself to all of you, because I kind of just barged in on your little get together. If you don't mind, or I could just stay here in the corner. Either way. I'd I'd shake your hand, but uh, I'm a little. It's fine. No need for the the, <laughs> the, the, the formalities. So, you are. Uh, I'm I'm Lady Coraline uh, th uh, through. I am the governor of uh, North Haven and current interim governor of Rivenhall. So uh, we meet a lot of important people. Oh, 
your interim governor of Rivenhall too. My my brother mm -hmm. is uh, is a lieutenant in the guard at Rivenhall. Oh, maybe um, you know him. My brother maybe, Fabian, Fabian uh, Sleepfeller. I, I haven't been there recently, so I don't know what they're doing exactly over there. Maybe I oh, have. Well, it doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. Ah, uh, it's all right. I, I'm I'm Jeremy. Uh, nice to meet you, uh, my lady. Pleasure. Uh, she kind of bows and gets her <laughs> gets her nose in a bit of the risotto and. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, hand check. I was like, it's fine. Don't, <laughs> calm down. Sorry. <laughs> don't have to be all like that. Hey, Jeremy, is there any meat in the risotto? Uh, no. I, oh, I can't good. stand the thought of eating anything that has a mother. Um, <laughs> he, he points he, and he points over to Jeremy and says, me too. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I used to back with my tribe a long time ago, but ever since I moved to Avni, I... Can't really stomach it very much. Uh, I'm gonna start. The, I'm gonna start using that one. This, this is the ship, <laughs> and it is just you know. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, we have so much in common. We sure do. This is very interesting. Uh, wow, this risotto is very to, good. I, I have to. I have to. I have to admit uh, that's not an original Jack O'Leary. I got that from the Mister Rogers movie with Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, someone in the chat, uh, Crystal Star says Jeremy X Stibbles. Oh, Jibbles. <laughs> Stibbles. <laughs> Jibbles. Uh, Jibbles. Jibbles. Oh my God. Jibbles. Uh, I love it. Uh, all right, so. Jeremy will just kind of do her thing. Cool. And the, the night goes on. And um, Damon, Damon at one point uh, goes over to Jeremy and he says, "This, uh, this, uh, this, oh, this no. soup, this risotto is very, very good, very good." Oh, thank you. You know, I, you. your family seems very interesting to me. I'd very much like to visit your Hobbit hole sometime. Oh, Not, well, okay. Well, I, I didn't mean it like. <laughs> I um. That's uh, she's, she's like uh. This this risotto is very good. <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Damon. I, 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 you know, truth be told. I'm gonna eat over here. Truth be told, Mr. Damon, uh, we're kind of spread out, uh, sweet fellows. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of the only one left in Clarier. So if you'd want to meet them all, you'd have to kind of go all the way over, uh, all over the place. I know my sister is always on the road, uh, doing shows and stuff. My, my brother's a sailor. My other brother's in Riven Hall. Um, my other brother, I don't know where he is. He went off on an adventure years ago. I haven't heard from him in a while, but, uh, Oh, interesting. That sounds yeah, he's, like a side quest. How many siblings well, uh, do you have, Jeremy? Uh, I, I'm the youngest of, uh, uh, uh a number. Uh, <laughs> Roll for it. <laughs> 27. No, I, 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 I have them all. I'm, I'm prepared. Cal the uh, God, 499. Vincent X Curia and Class X Vega are the only ships I recognize, but Damon and Jeremy are being good friends and gotta say, good friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have five what? older siblings. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm the youngest. Me too. <laughs> really? Yes. Of wow, course. we have so much in common, Mr. <laughs> 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 Mr. <laughs> well, I uh, hope to meet them someday. Seem very interesting. I'm going to finish uh, they, Yeah, they're all, they're all right. I, I, I miss them. Uh, it's been a while since I've talked to any of them. Kyrie X Knife. Oh, yeah. Kyrie X Knife. Kyfe. Kyfe. Kyfe! He's uh, the embodiment of evil. <laughs> in, in Damon's head right now. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, uh, and at that, Jeremy will just kind of wander off back to the kitchen and go get some more risotto and maybe start whipping up those seed cakes. He's just gonna mage hand like Damon on like the shoulder, and it just goes into a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and, the night, and the night goes on you make your seed cakes and uh lord harry and eaton um says that you guys can stay the night at his place he has plenty of open oh, bedrooms because oh, it's just him oh, yeah. and the servants that live in this massive manner he says it feels nice to have people oh. over again very small <laughs> island <laughs> 
eaten is just the loader, and it's so sad. <laughs> he is. He is. Like, he's like, he's like, look at me. I'm so magnanimous and kind, taking in these strays. And he's like, please, I'm so lonely. No one ever eats dinner with me. On top of that, he has the tragic backstory of he had a previous group of adventurers that died mysteriously. <laughs> oh, dude, I hope my brother didn't work for him. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> poor Tyler Furious name. Uh, poor fucking types. <laughs> My brother Fletcher. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy stuff and then go to sleep. Me too. Wow, I've never, I've never seen a bed so big before. <laughs> what size is that, Lord Eaton? I don't even know what it's called. Uh, I Human. believe it's considered a king. It's an Eaton King. <laughs> it's an Eatonborough King. <laughs> you know, as as nice as it is that you're doing this, do you have anything like a little a little smaller, maybe? I I don't know. It's just a little too big for me, I think. Uh, like maybe like a children's quarters or something, uh, with, for any visiting kids or. I I I don't think we do anymore. I think we kind oh, of well. When well, I grew up, right. when I grew up, I think they got they kind of got rid of all that. So, well, that's all right. I I appreciate it. Uh, don't mean to look a gift horse in the mouth or anything. Uh, oh, my <laughs> mother would scold the, me. The beds so much are a right little now. smaller back in the lodge. If you want to go stay there. Oh, I, I wouldn't want to be so far away from my uh uh my, my friends. Yeah. Um. Agreed. So, I'll I'll stay here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh thank God. you. One ninety nine. Insert pound town joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I like how of all the things to become the legacy <laughs> one of the legacies of Sunder <laughs> Pound Town. Town is one of them yeah. of all the yeah. things Pound Town oh, Jesus and you're Mystic gonna... Tabletop right? Damon teach Jeremy about the bed maybe <laughs> no no that's not that you weirdo <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding. So I'm two not days. Days. about beds. <laughs> Jeremy Look, is Damon, Damon is, is Damon's, Damon's uh, personality trait is he's horribly, horribly awkward in social situations. And let me point out that there are two horribly's in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> first, the first thing they say to Eve says, you are very beautiful. <laughs> you are, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and it was my favorite thing. <laughs> uh... Uh, I go to bed. I say oh. my prayers. I go to bed. Aww. You tuck yourself <laughs> in. I say, I say, Vivona, please watch over Mr. Damon and Mr. Farron and and uh, whatever. Did you guys hear that I was first. What whatever <laughs> title, whatever title Issa likes to go by, and yeah. um, and 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 Mr. Kyrie and and Lord Eaton and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just like a bunch of names. Anyone who wants uh-huh. owl bears. Uh, Jeremy <laughs> doesn't those owl bears, please, especially with those owl bears. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't die. pray for Pythias and he die. dies the next day. No. <laughs> <laughs> and do you all long rest? Yes. yes. Do we? Divine charge. I mean, I'm, I'm going to. Okay, what are you going to do? do? Okay, so this do is we all need so what are you doing? to remove the. Uh, no, uh, but unless you're going to do. Uh, unless you want. Grace? No, no, because it would have. They're, they're, I don't know. Um, if it wasn't like right before bed, they'd been like, "Hey, would somebody watch?" <laughs> Sink. Well, you, you, you can watch, but we're we're in like a safe place. Oh no, no, but um, yeah, it, you know, they're gonna spend their four hours of sleep, and then they're gonna spend the rest of the night dealing with it. I don't uh, want to flat out say a tune with it, because that makes me nervous. There is an attune. You, you do can tell that there is probably an attunement. All right, mess it around with the attunement then. Are you tuned to it? <laughs> I, that's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> What's going on? So, weird dream things that you guys had to leave for. Um. <laughs> Um, you look over the the, the stone, um, and you feel this like vib- almost a vibration within it, and you kind of focus on it and pull it out, and you tune to it. Um, 
what was once a static stone starts to light up along uh, carvings in the stone itself. And it kind of all circles around and in the center of one of the parts of, of the stone is, is, is an eye. But like, it looks like it almost opens. It's, it, it's a carving. It's still not like a real eye, but it has its own kind of like almost like animation with it. Um, and once that eye like opens, um, let's actually hold on a second. I need to uh, do something. Um, where is it? What I want? Um, I need to get better music for this. <laughs> I was gonna say this is a very uh, charming like. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> Jacob's dying right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jacob's it's like, I called it. I called it. I called it. <laughs> We're just over here just like, well, this is how we die. This is how I die. <sighs> you could, All right, Lisa, where's you the, where's grabbed the Kyrie. shard? It exploded. <laughs> <laughs> this is there the way go. the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Um, <laughs> with the bang, but with the bang. Why do you play the, the fucking reviving music? <laughs> oh no! Because it's that dramatic. Um, if you want, Grace, you can look up Trial of the Grasses from Witcher 3. <laughs> oh, I, I know what it is. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> I already got the music in my head. I'm it's not a fan. reviving music, yeah. <laughs> um, around the outside of the stone and like around your hand, symbols start appearing glowing blue almost like a holographic thing that kind of wraps around your hand and starts kind of going over your arm and then kind of goes touches onto it and kind of goes up through it at that same moment you notice um your skin turns a lighter color very very pale where, where, whereas usually your skin is kind of a, the, like the tanned look um it's almost white and you notice your hair gets the same kind of color that, from the way you can see out of the corner of your eye um it lasts for only a few seconds it's not very long um the stone continues to glow the the, the kind of the um runes disappear um, and you have a tune to it. I'm going to add the item into your inventory. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't even get it added. It's going to add itself to my it's, inventory. Yes, it adds <laughs> itself to your inventory. I don't like this. Uh, if you re refresh your um, D and D Beyond, you should be able to see it. Okay. Big yikes! <laughs> I know. Big guy. Oh God. <laughs> I'm dying. What did you do? <laughs> Blunder put, oh shit, it whitewashed Issa. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That was really funny. Oh no. I'm a miss, It was a good game. GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. And we're just it. gonna we're gonna sit on that for the rest of the night and just kind of go like, well. You, and you know what it does. Would it be wrong for me to suggest that this would be a good place to end the game? Well, I mean... As up to other people. I or would you can wanted. continue going. I'm down to continue. I'm down to stop. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Okay. I mean, we I would like to go a little bit longer just because I feel like that would be kind of a bad place to end. <laughs> <laughs> When Grace says bad place to end, that means it's a cliffhanger and it's a great place to end. But we can keep going. I mean, what did we say? What did we agree before? Ten thirty. That's not. That's yeah, not yeah. like too long from yeah. now. 
Let's just let's just press yeah, on. Oh my god, Tyler, this is like my favorite instrumental ever. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. Sounds good. Uh, we can at least hit the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's hit the road. Let's go. And you guys, long rest and wake up the next morning, ready to hit the road. Okay. And anything that happened with Issa, it, obviously we're unaware of. Issa doesn't like appear different to us either. Nope. I just want to make sure. She, she looks the same. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's go, guys. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start walking. Start going. Wait. Start we can't out. just we can't just leave without saying goodbye to Miss to Lord Eaton. Besides, yeah, I haven't made you all breakfast yet. Oh, I don't normally eat breakfast. Oh. Well, okay. what about second breakfast? I'll, I'll eat a second breakfast. Damon yeah, tosses yeah. Damon tosses an apple at you. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't think he knows about second breakfast. I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Baron. <laughs> yeah. And Jeremy, I'm uh, sure we can eat on the road. Oh, all right, all right. At least I, I think I got some seed cakes left over anyway. I'll go to Lord Eaton. I'll shake his hand and I'll say, thank you very much for everything. It was good to meet you. I hope to meet you again someday. I hope you guys are back so we can go on more adventures together. Well, you guys can go on more adventures for me. Of course. Of course. <laughs> we'll have uh, to drag you along sometime, Mr. Eaton. You can't just sit in that little rustic shack forever. I'm too old for this now. Let's, let's, <laughs> I, I, I had my adventures. When you wish to find your old friends, let us know. Okay. Uh, keep in touch then. Will do. Maybe. Um, let's be on our way then. All right. And you guys start heading out to this epic music. And we triumphantly, triumphantly leave the tutorial land. Yes, I... you leave the tutorial <laughs> land. What was supposed to oh, take three weeks <laughs> took two months. It would have taken us only three weeks, <laughs> but then we wouldn't have had Jeremy. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and cool. What? <laughs> Damon. Yes? The... <laughs> Uh, I attuned with the stone, the divine shard. Uh, let me start over. Um, <laughs> a couple nights ago, um, hmm, so, I don't know how to explain this completely, but the, us Aladrin tend to follow a being known as the Empress. Um, I am loyal to her. And, but uh, not many people know of their identity. It's it's a uh, it's a blessing to be visited by her, them. And so uh, that's what happened a couple nights ago. She referred to it as her gift. So that's why I thought it was owed upon me to understand its power. It's, it is. It's, it's powerful. It is. It's, and I mean no offense, but I would prefer that stone to be in the hands of somebody who shares the same uh, uh, loyalty as mine. Well, let me put it this way, too. She mentioned that this group is important. I don't know for what, but she referred to us, to, to us as a key. And she said that we needed to find what we we unlock I don't know what that means and I'm used to speaking in riddles I'm sure you are uh, you all are very important I am um... exactly what she said so if if the royalty of Avnia proved to be more responsible then of course I will give it up but for now I think the Empress wants it to be in our hands. What do you mean? Are you saying that we're not going to do anything with it? Are we not taking it to where it's supposed to go, where it's rightly, rightfully supposed to be? You said it was ours, right? We can go That's to the palace, way. tell them That's we're keeping it. it to you. It's yours, yes, but I, I, I have a job to do. No, your job is done. We simply go to the palace. No, you you have to stay. He's he's important. No, what I mean is we all go to the palace. His job was yeah. to find out what was going on. And yeah. the, 
that is, I am also in agreement with that. But for now, my my opinion is on the idea that we need to keep it with us. If, like I said, if the Avnian royalty uh, proved to be the ones that should wield it, then I will rightfully give it up. I'm sharing this information with you as, as a kind of peacekeeping. A sign of I, confidence. This is me uh, trusting. Okay. I don't... Uh... I'm a bit torn on this. <clears throat> if you didn't know, um, there's a war going on. I've been a, been a, a praise of that, yes. I would not want that stone to end up in the wrong hands. Trust me, I'm aware. I, I've seen wars. Just, I, okay, I... I won't take it from you. And I understand your allegiances. I I just hope you understand ours. Of course. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That's why I'm telling you. I'll start walking. Mm-hmm. As uh, as uh, Damon walks away, uh, Kyrie will kind of turn towards Issa. Took a lot for you to tell us that, didn't it? You don't seem the trusting type. Trust me, I know. Neither am I. And I'm supposed to trust you on that. Exactly. And I'll walk off. Jeremy, do you have wise words to add along? <laughs> <laughs> Farron. <laughs> um, just... Uh, is that my... Uh, oath, I... I have to follow those who have authority over me. And well, right now, that's that. your elders. Well, <laughs> right. No. That's not entirely true. I've sworn to protect Avnia. So, uh, my my uh, the authority over me is the the uh, the, the royalties of Avnia. And um, I'll what do saying. what they ask of me. I believe the Empress and right now the Royalty of Avnia have similar ideals. Let's hope so. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what the hell y'all are talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, my, my, my papa always told me that uh, like if, I don't, if I don't know what's going on, then I shouldn't contribute to the pot because uh, that's just going to spoil the broth. But um, It's understandable, Jeremy. Well, if you wish, I can tell you what happened as we uh, walk along. It's a long um, trip, sure. not a long story. I, uh, Jeremy, being so close to, to Avni, I I don't want to, you know, force any political beliefs on you or, or anything you, you would uh, you would want. But um, without the reigning force of Avni currently, um, I mean, the land, your home, and everything would have been taken over by the Imperium by now. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's not, but um, I just I'm just putting that out there. Uh, it's it's uh, it's bad times right now. A lot of good people have died, so. But uh, it's where it's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Well, uh, I don't know much about war or death or anything like that. Um, but. I don't know. I think we should do, or I shouldn't really speak for the group, I guess, but I I think it'd be best if we all did what was right for everybody, for the most amount of people. It doesn't, I, I don't, I don't know much about kings or queens or empresses or anything like that. The mere fact that I was, allowed to cook in the kitchen of a lord last night is more than anything I ever thought I'd be capable of. Um, At the end of the day, all I really care about are common folk, you know? 
folks like my neighbors who are just trying to eke out a living, caught up in the wars of the big folk, who I, love to I, push each other around like chess pieces, and I don't know. I share your. Sentiment. I think we all may have our part to play yet. I'm just not quite sure what mine is. Well, the fact that you're here shows that you have a part to play at all. So. You I and I are a lot more alike than I thought, Jeremy. Well, I hope that's a good thing, Mr. Damon. It is. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, no use blathering. Uh, I think it's high time we stop for lunch, huh? <laughs> it's 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> We've been walking for an hour. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Adventure <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you guys walk, and it's going to be quite a distance to get to Avnia. I'm assuming you guys are just going to continue going? Yep. Uh, uh, Pythias carries all my supplies mostly, yeah. like my tent, my bedroll, and all of that stuff. So, I mean, oh. I set that up every night. That's how I got oh. here. <laughs> so, you guys walk, and there's nothing to. I'm not going to have you guys roll anything for the travel. It's a very safe road for cool. the most part. So, um, you guys tr walk, and most of the this part of the kingdom is pretty sparse for people um so there isn't really any real population center so you will camp on like the side of the road for most of the nights um eventually after um what is it, like one two three four five six seven days of travel you make it to uh, a bridge um that um for those of you who know about some history it's just called the tragmar bridge Ge geography i should say not history it's called the tragmar bridge yeah. Huh? I know about it. Yep. So you would know that it's called the Drag Tragmar Bridge. Uh, you keep going for another two, about two days, and you reach a fork in the road, um, one leading southeast, and one towards Avni, and one leading southwest. Um, you guys take the southeast way because that's the way to Avni, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Unless you guys just want to go off the beaten path and go exploring. No. Okay. Really. We, we got a job to <laughs> no do. No reason to. <laughs> um, you follow the path, and um, uh, about another day's travel, um, day and a half, you start reaching the mountains. Um, and the, there's a very specific pass called the Senegal Pass. Um, oh yeah, Castle Senegal. I see it yep, on my map. Castle, Castle Senegal, you also have the Senegal Pass, and then there's a bridge later on. Uh, but before you get into the actual pass itself, uh, you come across a block in the road. A bunch of like overturned carriages um, and wagons uh -oh. just blocking the path. Uh oh, no. <sighs> Give me a moment. Let me bring up the thing that I want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll let Kyrie be in the front for this. And, um. It's my dad. Uh, <laughs> woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> uh, a sign. Sorry, on I my thing. The, um. Oh. A sign along the uh, it has been like posted on top of like in front of the um, the blockage that says "Beware dragons, no entry." And what? then there's also the path. And there's another sign that has been put in that kind of goes to like a secondary path. Um, like that's called uh, it reads an old shortcut. Beware of dragons. Was this here when I came came through? No. Uh oh. Wasn't here when I came through either. Is it easy hey, enough to get? Is it easy enough it. to just walk through it? You can probably make your way around. Yeah, it's not like it doesn't like completely stop all traffic. It's kind of just, hey, the, 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 on the road, don't go past this point. You know, there's a blockage. Very fishy. I'll turn I back mean, to everyone else. I'm pretty sure we could handle it. A dragon. If they were going to. I'm a knight. Knights kill dragons, right? If they were going to. Wow, officially... you're really brave, Mr. Farron. Yes, you see bards, you know, they tell the stories of the dragons, and then also of the knights dying to the dragons. We well, get many stories well, about if them. Well, if I die, you can write a story about me. Yeah. Uh, if you can write a story about me. I mean, me. why don't we just take the shortcut? It's obviously somebody curved what some kind of path, so we don't have to go this way. What if it is a trap? If it was actually officials that were blocking this road, do you really think they would turn over carriages? I think it's a trap. Yes. It's a trap. <laughs> you go down the old shortcut. Who has enough resources to turn over carriages? A group of bandits? Maybe a giant. No, a giant. Dragons. 
then uh, what do you propose is the right way to go? Is the is the shortcut the trapped way, or is the right way the trapped way? But maybe the person who set this up was smart enough to think that we would go this way, so there actually is something down that way, or there is nothing down the old shortcut, but there is because they thought we'd think well, those bandits aren't that smart. They only hunt for you the just, idiots. You just said a lot of words, Mr. Damon, and I'm not quite sure I followed them all, but uh, I don't know. Whatever happens, uh, I'll make sure that we get out of it in one piece, mm-hmm. or at least most of our pieces. I think we just keep going through. Patch Jeremy on the head. <laughs> but what if there are little hat on. dragons? Then That's not going to... Then we hide. Huh? Run. Or we can run. We can fight it. Or we can try to talk to it. Or we can die. I feel like you know, fighting it would be a last resort. I don't know how to talk to dragons. You just talk to them like a normal person. Okay. <sighs> Either way. Pythias better not be dragon food. Well, he's made a metal anyway. I, I doubt he'd be very. Uh, looks can be deceiving. Got me there. All right. And besides, if there were really dragons this close, wouldn't that put them, you know, not even a day out of Avnia? Maybe two? Do you really think they're just going to let dragons that close to their cities? Surely we would have heard about it. I mean, when's the last time people talked about dragons being about? How close is this, uh. Oh, never mind. That's seven days. Each so hex is a day. And besides, aren't days the worth of the travel. castle supposed to protect these roads anyway? I mean... Yeah, it's going to be like four days away from Avnia. But then yes. let's go through. If you're that confident. Can't go over it. Can't go around it. Can't go under it. Might as well go through it. Hey, We're going to ignore the blockade. I don't like <laughs> this. TPK. We got 29 minutes. <laughs> what did you guys do? Ignoring the, the green dragon so that I have you, you're going past the blockade. Mm-hmm. The damage. Cool. And you guys continue along the path. Okay. Um, cool. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Like an idiot. Um, <laughs> that was the face of somebody not expecting his party to be that stupid. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. You oh, guys walk, are walking along the path. Uh, what is everyone's passive perceptions? 18. Oh. <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> uh, and, question. Sorry, 16. 11. 18 is a different character. 11. 13. 13. Cool. Um, you guys are walking along the path. It's kind of quiet. Isa and Jeremy, you hear oh, a snap in the bushes. Just off the path. Uh, I look at Isa. <laughs> Isa sorry, looks down. Jacob. <laughs> you heard that too, correct? Heard what? There's. We're not, we're not alone. And Uh-oh. everyone will me. Oh, frick. A constitution saving throw, please. Oh, fuck! Oh, Lord. Oh, oh Lord Almighty. Uh... <laughs> 16. Damon, oh, that Damon can take an 18. Huh? I have not said, yeah. Um. What? Cool. So when that ha- yeah, sure. You get 18. Ooh, portent. I, I, I rolled this. I rolled a seven. Um, I seven. got an 18. 16. 10. I don't like this at all. I don't like any part of this. I don't like they're giving me 18s. I don't like they're making con saves. I don't like this at all. Okay, so what did Baron get? 10. 18. 16. Uh, okay. Um, Anyone who got below a 14. Oh boy. Yeah. Funk on the ground unconscious. What? Oh! Uh, hey! I'm <laughs> unconscious. It's it unconscious, it? not sleep, technically. Rude. So, does that mean that everyone's fall? they fall into zero health? No, you're just unconscious. Unconscious, unconscious. is state. Yes. Okay. Uh, can um, I look, look around? Who, who is it? Just Jeremy? And Isa. 
Jeremy, oh, all Jeremy? fuck. He's that. Yeah. This is the fucking two that saw it. Uh, yeah. Can I look around? <laughs> saw it. Uh, I try to wake them up. It. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy. Um. Uh, you have to roll, you have to use an action. I'm going to say this is initiative now. So oh, boy. Roll initiative. Shit. did did anything reveal Dang. itself, Tess, when that happened? Uh, you saw like a blast of like air coming from the bushes. So you know that there's something in the bushes. It's a uh, kobold with a dart. <laughs> a bunch of goblins. Sorry, Jacob. You know exactly what this is. <laughs> oh God. I think I, I also know what this is, but I don't. I don't. I rolled one on my initiative. <laughs> Time to chuck that. Uh, if you, if you bring up roll twenty. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Spaghetti-o. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh god. Here we uh, go. How dare that blockade actually tell the truth? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let's go and let's put. I need to set up the. Do you want to? You want to put the map on the stream, Colton? It's already been done. Fifteen oh, seconds. Oh, sorry, ago. sorry, sorry. I, There's I, a I, delay. I, I, it's just a delay. <laughs> uh, manage characters. Oh, can, I, can, can I just add it? Right, I can add it. Huh? <laughs> manage characters. Add character now. Uh, preset Adventures of Avnia. Cool. Monster type. Cool. The worst part is that it's not magic, it's a breath weapon. Ugh. Yeah, it's a breath weapon and it specifically <laughs> says unconscious, so I'm like, damn it. <laughs> but it's better than three of us being asleep. Yeah. Cool. Um, run encounter. Cool. So, what was uh, Damon's initiative while I get one. the music up? Oh, yeah, you got the big old one. Cool. Um, uh, Farron was a 17. Okay. Um, let's go. Combat music. Oh, why did I play it this way? I don't want to play it this way. <laughs> um, for those that, that don't know, um, this includes the chat. Um, this encounter was written by both Jacob and I um, for our Patreon on the XBWP Patreon. So Jacob knew what was happening as we were going. Um, Jacob used your meta knowledge. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I didn't I think that anybody seriously like, putting up a blockade <laughs> would use carriages to do it. Oh, uh, because it wasn't people. Um, cool, so it was... Not like we know that or anything. No. <laughs> uh, Hello, you're spoiling the game. Yep. Uh, you got a uh, one, Damon. Uh -huh. uh, Farron got a 17. Yes. Uh, Isa is unconscious, but... Thanks you for roll? rubbing it in. I got a 19. 19. Kyrie? Jesus. Dirty 20. I've just been rolling really high, Jack, for these um, two I mean, nothing. Uh, Jeremy? A 10. God damn, Jeremy, I hear more hit points than me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a high constitution. Wait, wait, wait. What was. <laughs> um, so, this breath Not weapon comes out, um, but... comes out of the bushes, and you see, like, it, the the dragon's head poke over and like, huh? damn. <laughs> um, Kylie, you first. Does it... oh, uh, grab him and run! Grab him and run! What? Okay. <laughs> I'm up. Who went down? Okay, uh, Jeremy we'll and Isa. Isa. Um. Okay. Well, it's not like I have a lot of options. Pulls out a knife. Murder. Murder is the only Mur option. Murder. <laughs> murder. What do you have in your head? I I know. Know. Did the no. dragon did the dragon speak common? Yes. It's insane. Aww. I'm gonna <laughs> turn to it. Is it still like showing itself? 
Its head's still kind of poking up above the... God, it's a baby. <sighs> All right. Gonna play the bluff game. Fuck it. <laughs> You're really gonna try to attack people that were confident enough even after reading the warning about dragons? You're best off not fighting. I got two of you. Yet three stand. <laughs> I love this child. <laughs> It, it, it like looks up things. Oh, I think I can take you. Oh, Hi, wow. Mother. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Cue boss battle music. You called your bluff. <laughs> we can't handle him. I was, I was I was hoping for a roll, but um, it's a cocky ass son of a bitch. Um, it's a dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll come up here, and uh, if you would allow me to, I'll bonus action hide. Yeah, sure. Just duck stab. Uh, with a... Wow, that's actually really good. With a 22. Uh, 22 is good. Yeah, sure. And you, you, I you will go. use my action huh. to attack it. Okay. And draw well, a short you get, bow. You get, uh, you get the advantage. Cool. The advantage. The advantage. Oh, shit. Tarje. <laughs> I crit. Ooh, Ooh nice. I say Tarje. Right in its eyeball. Those are not. Uh, and getting advantage means, uh, let's see, short bow, the d6, and I guess another d6, huh? And then, what's my sneak attack right now? It's two, so it's four. All right. Uh, six, 11, uh, 16, plus four, 20 damage. Ooh, nice. Dude, dude. Good damage to it. Um, I assume we're not meant to ouch. see its health bar. How much do you see? I don't see anything for a health bar for it. You do not see a health bar? Yeah. Nope. It's fine. fine. You can keep it that way. Um, I don't know how to do it without you guys seeing the numbers, so I'm going to keep it that way. Okay. Yeah, no just, problem. Keep, just keep it hidden. It's, I mean, we wouldn't know. Yep. You can tell us when it's if. I will definitely mm -hmm. tell you, yeah. Uh, yeah, you do. It hit it's just really nice like, seeing party health bars because I can see who yes. needs healing and who yeah. doesn't. Yeah, it takes the hit. Like, Ow! You want to call the bluff? Fine. Farron, we're, go just, Farron, we're going. we're going with your plan. And he's just like this. He's like, oh, we are. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this would probably be a good time to tell the DM I have thirty-two hit points, not twenty-three hit points. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's uh, no, no, that's Ethos. That's Ethos. Yeah, that's Ethos. Oh, okay. I was reading it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. On top it's, above, it's above you. Above me, not below me. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, next is Isa. You're unconscious. Thanks. Uh, Farron. Right here. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, You're like, I didn't think I'd actually have to do this. <laughs> this is great. I probably shouldn't get too close to it. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to I'm cast. Away. Hey, you. You're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> You were caught by God, the dragon to... in the mountain, just like that. <laughs> the thief over there. Those idiots over there. The party. I'm doing gonna... that to me for session zero. God. I should have thought about this a little bit more. We're fighting. I'm gonna. That's what Kyrie said. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting? Question mark. No, I am. I, I'm. I'm. Oh, we're coming. Oh, Baron ran just... at it. And I'm gonna. <laughs> And I'm gonna attack it. Holy shit, Farron. Oh, yes, Darren, yes, Darren yes, is like, yes, Kyrie, yes, don't yes, fight it. And yes. I turn and I just see Farron running. I'm just like, no! Okay, okay, okay. Damon's watching Come two on, reckless Come children. You have an inspiration, that's, right? That's an 18. You have a cardiac inspiration, too. Uh, 18. 18. Oh, that's right, Jack. We had inspiration. 18 would hit. Okay, okay, okay. 18 hits. Um, I'm going to smite him. Oh, God. Why wouldn't I? Uh oh, I should have done that before. I'm a big dummy. Oh well. Um boop 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 boop. That sorry, I don't know how to play. Do, 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 okay. This. And then Unacceptable. he I believe he's not an undead or a fiend, so uh, no. I don't get um that. And then this. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I just love this situation. 18 damage. 18 damage, nice. Yep. And 
I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm gonna stay right there, cause, mostly because I can't move back. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Oh come on! Yeah. Oh boy! Um, Jeremy, you're unconscious. I'm unconscious. <laughs> that was so. <laughs> okay. Um, just let me know what I can. Is it my action to pick up Jeremy? I'll say it's half your movement. What about picking up Jeremy and Issa? It'll be all your movement. Okay, th can I dash to move and pick them up? Yes. Cool, I'm gonna pick them both up and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hook Jeremy like uh, under my shoulder and take Issa over my shoulder, uh, like <laughs> under, and I'm just, <laughs> and I'm just running. Are you <laughs> running going? And I'm bonus action casting sanctuary on myself. You, you dash. Oh, yeah, I know. Action. I'm going 5, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Pythias is right <laughs> behind you. <laughs> and I don't have many for Pythias. He's probably right behind me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm bonus yeah. action oh casting sanctuary. Okay. This is ridiculous. Um, it's <laughs> the dragon's turn. Uh-oh. I, um, I can't wait to roll a brand new character. Me too. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> I have no uh, ideas. Oh, God. There we go. Um, it, like... Gets hit in the side. This this angry little child in front just whacked him. Just ow! Looks over at uh, Damon running off with the two unconscious people. <laughs> Jumps up and flies. What? Where are you going? You can get an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Is it going for me? Dude, I'm kind of. I wish you could sit here and watch me roll. I'm rolling so well. Jeez, that is. <laughs> Uh, a dirty 20. That would hit. You can smite on that. I can smite. Um, what should you? I'm gonna, because it's gonna <laughs> try to attack you guys, and you're unconscious, and I think if it hits you, that's a crit. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use another one of my spell slots, of which I only have three. Oh boy. Oh, come here. Dude, come here. <laughs> eight, oh eight, God. nine. Holy yes. shit! <laughs> Fucking Spencer, let's go. Jeez. Let's do it, man. Five. Almost 30 damage. That's, Didn't you crit? That's, that's dirty. Uh, no, dirty, oh, dirty 20. 20. Dirty. No, dirty 20. Uh, 25 damage. Ow. Oh my god. Yeah, Wait, it looks... Eight, eight it's 26 eight. damage, sorry. 26. It's, it is officially bloodied. <laughs> what? Oh, Paladin! Oh. Um, Look at this, Jack. We're gonna get an uh, XP. We're gonna kill a happen. baby after and all. We're it's like, going to happened? try. Oh and my god, the dead dragon! <laughs> it's gonna try and just grab you, Damon. Me? Okay. Um, <laughs> what does Sanctuary do exactly? So I ward a creature within range against an attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must make a Wisdom saving throw. Okay, then it will make a wisdom saving throw because I'm because I think you warded. I would yourself, assume yeah. grabbing me is harmful. Yes, it was, it's a grapple, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like it's an attack. It needs to beat a fourteen. You got a natural twenty. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it, now let's do a grapple check, I guess. <laughs> um, Get over here. I'm gonna roll. Ass. Oh my god, I don't have either. I'm gonna roll athletics. <laughs> You have an inspiration. Have an inspiration. It's just gonna be me and the kid soon. Hey. <laughs> the adventures of Kyrie and Farron. Oh, okay, I'll take the I'll take the card. I'll take the card. Plus, I can't see that nine. Eight. Plus eight. Okay, so uh, uh, twenty-two. Well, you really needed the that inspiration because it rolled the natural one. Oh, oh my! Fuck you! God damn it! <laughs> um, but. This is just a fancy ploy to make you waste your inspiration. Oh, hold on. Jack, in, in Issa's other possessions, there's now potatoes, too. Aww. <laughs> That'll last for a few days until they go bad. <laughs> hey, potatoes are very resilient. They are. All right? A resilient crop. <laughs> a resilient uh, crop. <laughs> it technically has multi-attack, so it's going to try again. 
Fuck me! Can you, uh, can you, replay, you can replace attacks with your grapple. Can replace it with attacks with your grapple. 20! 18 plus 2! I'm not a very athletic half work. I'm strong, but I'm not athletic. <laughs> I'm a <Girl>. teacher. <laughs> you beat it. No, you're fine. Um, <gasps> Fuck me. This is wild. Can I do it again? Can I do it? Just do it. If you can do it again, just do it. it, it three attacks. One with his bite and two of its claws. The bite is going to be replaced with a grapple. <laughs> He's going to try and grab you. Oh, with actually, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it has to make uh, wisdom saves each time. Does that have to do it each time? Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's time? each time you're targeted with it. Okay, so let's do the so wisdom, wisdom save. save number the, Uno. The, 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 the second one totally it beat the wisdom save. Okay, and then the third wisdom save. Wow, you are super lucky. Uh, natural one. <laughs> and, and what does it, do it has to pick a new target. It'll just try and grab uh, Yisa from your grab. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no, and she's unconscious, so she automatically yes, she, she automatically <laughs> fails, and she, he just grabs. Like, okay, I got one. <laughs> Then I guess contested, contested strength. Oh no! He's just gonna be ripped in half. Thirteen. Huh? Thirteen. Thirteen. Not till twenty. <laughs> Rescue me like a princess. Oh, no. And no. it grabs, <laughs> it grabs Isa. And um, how much was it? Was its movement here? It kind of flew over Farron. It can fly eighty feet. Um. Five, ten. Oh, he's gone. Uh, yeah, he grabs Issa and flies away. Uh, he, he, <laughs> <It's a car> <laughs> <laughs> he moves like he, he flies sixty feet away. Um, uh, top of the round, Kyrie. How far is away? Uh, can I see six, the sixty feet from can where I see it is? The representation so. on the map. Uh, you let's miss. say. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 35, 35. So somewhere like over there. Oh. Uh, well, if you shit. want, you have a, a, a attack of opportunity, um, Damon. I will. With your <laughs> fist. I wish I could grapple, but I can't. Use Jeremy as an <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I have, um, I have Catapult. my... <laughs> I have one way I could stop it, but it's not a, a weapon. It's the problem. Now, um, if I can, can I can I use the bus stop? You didn't have it out technically, though. So then, uh, I, Jamin would punch it. <laughs> you also draw yeah. sanctuary if you do that. So I, I know I do, but it's fine. Punch the dragon like Laszlo did that one time. Hey, he's not gonna punch a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> then top of the round, Kyrie. Alright, uh, let me try to remember how fucking this, this works. So, what the, <sighs> oh, thanks, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I get rid of all that? Oh. What'd you do? I drew a line. Which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to like, I wanted to measure, but you can't do that in this fucking program. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. You can. 30. If you go, okay, um, I don't know how to. If you go, look under. It's like the one underneath that. One or two underneath that. Because if I go like this, I can draw. Oops. Sorry, I'm just pressing buttons now. Understand. Oh, cool. I'm sixty feet away from him. Good. That's good to know. It. Actually, hold on. I, I can actually measure that. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, I, th I figured it out. Oops. Okay. There was 60 feet. It, it would technically be... Hold on. It would be here, technically. So now I am... Oops, I drew on it. How do I get rid of it? 70 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If you click 30. on it and press... Um, if, if you use the select tool and then... Um, Got it. Um, could I hide here since it's kind oh, of running away? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. You got really loud. You got really loud out of nowhere. Me? Yeah. Yeah, you like, dude, that was blaring. That's weird. I didn't do anything. Did you get yeah. closer to your mic? You're fine now. No. Uh, dirty 20 to hide. I would do it. I'll do it, and I'm going to shoot him with the crossbow again. Or, sorry, do short it. bow. Uh, that would be a 20, dirty 20. That would hit. Okay. And that'll do 
Some damage. hit every single time. We have hit every single time. I'm really scared, but... Uh, Please don't eight, hit nine, me. Uh, 14 damage. Well, yeah, it looks hurt, but... It's still flying. Uh, is that your he turn? just wants a friend! Yeah. <laughs> wants a snack. Uh, Issa, you're unconscious. Uh, I am. It's Ambo's turn. Uh, Farron. Yeah, it's uh, Ambo's turn. I pull out uh, my uh, longbow uh, that I have. Um, you have a longbow? I do. You need a, you need a ranged and a, a melee weapon at all times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You guys currently can't see right now, but Spencer is adorable and sitting like a gremlin. Oh. <laughs> Sit, um, sitting like, her, like 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 gremlin or like L from... Like, hunched, like hunched on her. Feet, like feet on chair, knees yeah. here. It's what yeah. you're oh, thinking. It's uh, like, like L from yes. Death Note. Yes. Um, yes, gremlin. Gremlin. We love Spencer. I also have candy, <laughs> so I, I think that fits even better. I'm going to uh, shoot at it with my longbow. Didn't you know in the well, movie the reason why he likes candy is because it, for, it, it does some shit? I don't know. Well, I got a four, so um, I don't hit. Yeah, that would just whoosh, pass it. Um, and I just me. yell, give me back our bard. <laughs> I'm, I'm unconscious. Me, you're unconscious. <laughs> There's Damn. nothing I can do. Uh, uh, it, with, di- with Jeremy in tow. Five, ten, slide down. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Um, Apex Legends slide. Yeah, Apex Legends slide thirty. <laughs> uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Gosh dang it! Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Can I get? Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Did it move? It did. I swear it was closer. It was. It, it was. I uh, double checked the math and it got. It could what go. The, okay. <sighs> Yeah. Can I go? No. Can I be here? Oh my god! Yeah, you could be there. Sweet. All right, through the trees. Um, lay, lay down on my side. Pull up my hook shot. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna shoot the hook shot at it. What? What does the hook shot do exactly? It's reef flavored thorn whip. If I hit it, I it does a d6 piercing damage, and I can pull the creature ten feet closer. It... If it's large or smaller. Okay. Shit, dog. Yeah, and he's large. Yeah, he is. I just have to hit. Why does it yeah. so weird? Uh, ooh, uh, 16 plus, plus, plus 6, so 22. That would hit. <laughs> so, oh my god, 6 damage, 6 piercing damage. And um, he's pulled 10 feet closer. I, I just pull out the hook shot and it kind of, uh, the chain's kind of on the end of it. Just literally imagine an Ocarina of Time. And just, and 10 feet closer? Out. Hey, hey, it, yeah, exactly, exactly, perfect. Like um, and it just hits it in the leg and does the six piercing damage, and just I just pull it out of the air and kind of pull it a little bit closer towards us. Like, get back here. Um, and that's your turn. That's it. It's its turn. I, I no longer have sanctuary. Yeah, um, I'm assuming you. Um, uh, it, it, it can move freely on its own now. It, it can. It just gets pulled, and then it, then that's it. Yeah, it's going to uh, dash um, 160 feet away. Ooh. How far? Fly 160 up. feet? Yeah. Fuck. Um, uh. And it's flying like, into the mountains. I'm running. I'm just running with Jeremy. Just running as fast as I can. At the beginning of this day, it was just uh, like, we you know, we, we don't really get along. Out. Come back. We can't shoot it out of the air anymore either. Um, it'll and kill Lisa if you shoot kill, it out of the air. Are you guys just gonna chase it and see where it yeah. goes? Yeah. Yes. Um, we're gonna have to fucking give me, give me, this shit. Give me the dragon back to now, the here's a good question. I, this is. Uh, yeah, I think I this tossed, is the perfect spot. I tossed Jeremy like a sack uh-huh. of potatoes to Farron, and I keep running. <laughs> you keep running, and I think now is a great place to end. Oh my god! Oh my god! God! Hey, oh. I mean, <laughs> though. Um, I mean, it's actually. Great. The next game is perfect because I, I can't get really on until we get late. Oh, won't be here at the beginning. This yeah, is I, great. I won't be on until like eight o'clock. It's great did you, you got kidnapped by a dragon. Did you plan this, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Just ended up that way. That was perfect. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. So we're level five? No. Fuck. So, so I'm awake, right? <laughs> uh, not yet. 
Dang. All right. Dang. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for today's thank game of yeah. Adventures of Avnia. We will be back next week, next Friday, with a brand new game. Uh, Grace will be a little late, but we will be here at and... the latest. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, well, we'll see what happens next time when we when we come back to this game. Um, appreciate everybody coming to the stream today. Um, get, welcome, Jack, to to Woo! Avnia. Woo yay! And um, it's great to be here. Totally. And uh, we will see all of you guys next time. That's the end of the stream. Bye. Bye. Bye.